I do get loud. Oh, that's fine. Because I'm... Screamer? I'm a screamer. <laughs> <laughs> I did just find out that my boyfriend's walls are like paper thin last night, though, when this girl came home screaming, and I was like, oh, I can hear every word. If these walls oh. could talk. Ooh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the complex multi-talents of the indomitable, the incomparable, the leggy legend from Italian dining... <laughs> She is the spiciest, the ripest, the diciest, the most infested with pomegranate, parmesan, parsley, and she is a giant swirling meatball. Sorry, that was the worst one I've ever done. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love pomegranate in my meatball. Pomegranate, pomegranate parsley. Parmesan, parmesan. Very LA. Welcome to the show. But Thank you. Before, before I, I have to mention, I have been eating pomegranate seeds. Oh, really? By the bushel. Really? Oh. oh yeah. Now, does that cause any stool issues? Yeah. Or? Well, I've had blood in my stool. This like. <laughs> well, it might just be the pomegranate because like That's... beets turns your poop red. Exactly. Pomegranate might do the same thing. Yeah. Have you considered that option or? I have not considered. Well, because they could very well be that, but I don't think so. You think it's blood? I think it's blood because <laughs> you drink grape juice. Your your poop is in grape or uh, well, purple. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's grape flavored. I'm not yeah. sure. Uh, no one's ever tried. Nobody's yeah. tried that. Yeah. But I've heard that about beets. I know that for yeah, to be I true. Feel like actually, red but a food. pomegranate. It's like a berry. It is. It's a berry. Yeah, but how much of them are you eating? Oh, because so are many. you buying them pre-shocked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> thank God. Trader Joe's little fingers. Yeah. They're like a. It's like a fruit cup. Okay, mm-hmm. sure. Five dollars. Oh my gosh. Each. Not very. Uh, it's not a good deal. No. No. Right. But I. I buy like. Like thirty-five to sixty-five dollars worth at a time, <laughs> oh and then I eat God. them usually in one sitting or two. Are sittings. you serious? That's how I am with those yeah. Trader Joe's pumpkin seeds, though. Really? Yeah, and those actually did cut up my butt because there's like too much. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> On no, the you don't chew them. You so don't chew I don't even. Chew, well, I, I don't spit the shell out. I just eat it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's going to cause some so problems later bad on. Bad for you, apparently. That yeah. is disgusting. I know, and it's so salty that you get dehydrated. So your poop yes. is just like sharp and dry. <laughs> sharp, that's what. I, I'm sorry to gross people out, the listeners, but it's like... Oh, is this too gross? Well, no, I, mean, I don't no. think so. No, 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 no. But it's... I've I've, I've had, like, the the pleasure of having bowel movements that are so contained and clean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but also, like, going to the other end of the spectrum where it's, like, sharp and dry, and it feels like maybe, <laughs> yeah, like, I'm yeah. giving... There's, like, a, a holiday wreath coming out or something. It's just <laughs> mm-hmm. not very... Yeah, yeah, it's bad. It is hard when you feel like something is basically stuck halfway and it's painful and dry do you know that i've thought about this i haven't done it <laughs> i've thought about pulling it out with my fingers wow oh i think i i feel like kids do that digital yeah. extraction bobby brown uh on the show being bobby brown admitted to or actually was quite proud to happily say that he had pulled out a stuck turd from whitney houston and he's like that's when you know it's love and well, it, that's true. Yeah. 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 My friend who was pregnant, that happened to her. <laughs> and her boyfriend paid the guy from Postmates to pull it are out for him. Are you serious? You are, sh- shut your they mouth. ordered um, a I douche can't. from Postmates sure. to help get it out. And then yeah. he was like, can you administer it? I'll oh, give you extra money. That How much extra how, money? Hello. Yeah. I don't know how much it was, but for me, that would be like, I'm going to need at least $1,000 uh, yeah, to at your least. booty yeah. hole. Think about it. A medical professional, you know... Oh yeah, gonna, what's your copay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> what's yeah. your deductible? <laughs> you want to throw money at the problem. Yeah. You're going to have to start throwing a lot. Yeah. My friend who broke both of her arms and she was immobilized, uh, she almost had me, um, well, she got so constipated from the Percocet oh, uh, Percocet oh, or whatever yeah. that she had to do, her mom had to do digital extraction Oof. on her, but she also um, uh, wanted to see if I could fish out her Nuva ring. <laughs> I would have actually probably done that. I would that have, seemed like yes. fun. I said, More absolutely. Yeah, I said, sure. Absolutely, yeah, 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 yeah. I would do it. Absolutely, I would do it. Um, and I was actually looking forward to it. But well, then- What happened? I don't remember. I think that she she got it out some oh, other way. That's disappointing. Yeah, it was disappointing. I yeah. would felt I would have felt a little bit different about um, digitally extracting feces. Oh, definitely would not. Yeah. No, right. Uh, definitely. What would be your price point? Uh, realistically. Your realis- post, you, realistically, if Postmates. someone's there, I'm driving for Postmates. If he said two hundred and fifty dollars, I would not try to like bargain up. Was this just to administer the uh, the the douche? It or was the... to administer the douche and pull out what was hanging out. 
Okay, well, the pullout thing is that's very that's that's very that's, that's intimate like, and yeah. special. That's something else. I and unless like, you yeah. got gloves on hand, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I was gonna say. Well, that's the other yeah. thing too, which they clearly probably did not. Yeah. What if they do? Just yeah, what if for argument's sake, what if they ordered a douche in rubber gloves? Well, if it's pulling the poop out, five hundred. Absolutely. Pulling the poop out and douching, five hundred dollars. I don't even like douching myself. Yeah. Oh, nobody it's, does. No. Why would yeah. I? Well, also, would you have to then wait to make sure the water's clear? Like, uh, you know, what's right. their level? Oh, what are yeah. they expecting? What are they yeah. saying is clean now? I think they're yeah. just trying to free the impacted feces in the true. bowel, mm. but that's just God me. Bless. One would yeah. hope they were a little no, less <laughs> randy than having to. We're going to get this out of <laughs> the way. we got to stop talking <laughs> about shit <laughs> at some point. Speaking of impacted feces, please welcome. Meatball, thank you for being yes. here. Thank you guys for having me. Oh, we're so happy to have you. Meatball is a Los here. Angeles-based entertainer yes. of the utmost variety. Truly. That doesn't, what yeah. is that? That, that doesn't make <laughs> the any utmost variety. Like the utmost, right. utmost I do some variety. things sometimes. Um, you're a sexy, hot, hot, sexy drag queen. Did you know I, that? I didn't know that. <laughs> Never got sexy. <laughs> oh, please. Well, there's a lot of firsts on this show. Thank you guys so much for saying that I'm sexy. You are the sexiest woman in show business. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I feel like I rival your sweatiness, though. Oh, I'll please. When I did Nobody that, can touch me. Beverly Hills. Nobody. With Trixie, she did walk in and she said, I have one thing I have to say to you, and it's I want to talk to you about your sweating. It might be worse than Katya's. Wow. I mean, oh, I was wow. drenched by the end of that. I, you were um, very energetic performance, I have to yeah, say. But you yeah, but da- you're dancing and stuff. You're doing, uh, you're yeah, doing dance I numbers. I just feel like it was I, I mean, it was before the dance numbers even happened. Okay, oh, well, sure. Fair. Me too. That happened. Yeah. Well, you, you sweat standing still, right? Standing still. Uh, same. In the, the minute free, the pads yeah. go on, uh, yeah. my Boom. face. Mm-hmm. So I got Botox to try to combat that, and Mom. that didn't work. Nope. Didn't really? Work and either. it just moved to other places and made <laughs> yeah. it worse. Sure. And no one likes a drag queen with under boob sweat. Or like back of the neck sweat. But or like they, elbow sweat. But it's then like, they hug you and then they're like, ew. Like they're shocked. And you're like, I told yeah. you yeah. not to do that. <laughs> Why would you do that? I know. At a meeting grade, I've literally said, I am so sweaty. Please don't touch me. And they're like, oh, I don't care. And then they do the hug and then they're like, oh, oh wow, wow, you, you are really sweaty. Really sweaty. <laughs> yes. Mary, I, fucking time. Yeah, yeah. I told you, don't touch me. It's disgusting. Mm-hmm. You Anytime listen. someone tells you that they're very sweaty, just listen don't to them. do it. Yeah, or just, if you really don't care, don't care. Yeah. You know? Or at least pretend if you've actually then gone yeah, in because the person's trying shot. to save you their the embarrassment them. Yeah. The it, worst part is watching them wipe their hand, but like try to maintain see, eye contact with yeah, you, like, being like, Ooh, yeah, oh, my pants that. are really itchy. <laughs> yeah. yeah I gotta, oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh lord. Um, it's such a pain in the ass. Yeah, it also makes drag like not fun. It, when I have to worry a lot about like, well, I wish I could wear this outfit, but I can't because I'm going to sweat so much yeah. that it's not going to yeah. look good. Yeah. Then it's like limited as to what I can wear. Yeah. And I don't want to just wear leotards all the time yeah. and stuff. Like sometimes you want to look cute yeah. and yeah. wear a heavy fabric, but I'm fat. I wear the most. Like uh, Trixie was saying the other day, she's like, so for a person who sweats like a bizarrely, like, you know, a person who yeah. sweats as much as I do, why do you like wear full coverage, high neck, like <laughs> neoprene? Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? like, what? But it's like, it's because it looks good and it's like yeah. the look that I want, but yeah. I just want to be like photographed in it and yeah. then left alone. Oh, sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Because what are you going to do? Wear like a nice summer dress? Yeah. Uh, bo- like a uh, uh, yeah, breezy a, blouse? A bandeau uh, bikini top? And I'm like, <laughs> like, no. I can't get away with that. No. I have like, in my, I haven't worked out at all. I feel like Neither my body's I. disgusting. And um, <laughs> it's like really like uh, it's like that skinny fat one. You know what I mean? Where it's, it's, where like, it's like just a thin layer. <laughs> it's like we like I we were in drag yesterday and I had a, um a shape run and I had a. Athena was like, what the fuck is this? We thought it was the fold in the dress and it was a fat ooh. roll. And um, she's oh. like, ooh. <laughs> 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 so I love Vita. She I love that wig that you were wearing. It's oh. like the little ponytail yeah. on top oh, the thing. one you posted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I immediately yeah, yeah. texted Fina. I was like, I'm going to need that in red. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Yeah, Fina's great. We should have Fina on. So oh, yeah, she's yeah well, so I was just talking to her about funny. it. We, um, we should do it this week if we can. Yeah, she's, that'd, um, be good. that'd be great. She's uh, so damn good at the wigs and she like, yeah. always comes through at the last minute for him is so mm-hmm. happy about it it's so great well i forget about the sweating because i haven't performed on stage in a while yeah i've done like tv stuff where it's you know temperature controlled but i do forget it's like oh the sweating <laughs> makes this 
awful. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Because the whole time uh, when I'm sweating, I'm just thinking, wow, this is making my makeup come off. And then people are going to talk about how bad I looked (laughs) when they saw me because I was sweating and gross. But I was like, there's nothing I can really do about it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like I've I've been in so many situations and um, especially like some of the uh, venues in the UK that have no air con at all. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. We just did the UK tour and oh, there was God. room. There was moments when I was like hanging my head out the window. Do you remember what the um, the hottest city was? Do you recall? Uh, it was Manchester. Manchester. And I can't remember the name of the venue, but it was like the dressing room was two floors, but it was just like, it was for bands. It was like in the oh, back and okay. there were six drag queens getting dressed in yeah. a yeah. tiny room. Yeah, Ugh. yeah. It's, yeah, there was, um, we did a, I did a gig like the first year in Ireland at a, like a bar, a pub. It was like low ceilings and uh, the stage was maybe like a foot off of the, like a, a riser, like about mm-hmm. a foot tall. And I got on stage. The moment I got on stage, I was like, Oh no, this is no. <laughs> like I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna make it two minutes, never mind <laughs> ten minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like I I was defeated before it began. Mm-hmm. I was like, this is fucked. It was like yeah. ninety degrees. Yeah. Yeah. Well I it, hate that. Ninety degrees like, for your upcoming UK shows and everything, are you considering yeah. maybe like a daft punk style uh <laughs> outfit that has air conditioning air built into it? <laughs> I listen. I put out the the feelers for like you know any engineers who want to make a sequin cat suit with air like you know <laughs> like a self ventilating thing. But it's I I find the the best thing to do is just have you just need to have three industrial fans. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. That's all, all right. you need. Yeah, yeah. And then I carry around a personal hand fan that's like an electric one. Yeah. Okay. I just do the pop, the pop little pop fans Chinese fans save my life. Yeah. Um, because if I don't have that in a meet and greet, I'm I'll just kill myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 It's awful. Do you sweat a lot, Greg? Uh, no, not really. really? Although every once in a while, I wake up and I have the Love. if you have the air on a little too much or something like that, or you throw in a blanket because it was cold for a little bit, and you wake up covered in sweat, soaked. Yeah, Ugh. but otherwise, Your no. Nipples showing. No, I don't think so. No, that's great. Oh, I'm, I'm jealous. Yeah, my dad. Oh, this is disgusting. Um, Good. We my, need to keep the show up. Okay? <laughs> my my father has a had a karate studio, and at training sessions, all the all the guys would be you know train or whatever doing the fuck they're doing there would be so much sweat like rainfall like inches oh of rainfall God. on the floor oh. and then there'd be salt like oh. as it evaporated you could see the salt on the mat oh like the inside wow. of my corsets <laughs> there's just <laughs> yeah. white sweat lines yeah. yeah yeah it was so like i'm talking about like it me and my dad when we're like it when we're working out or whatever like it's like we jumped into a pool oh it's yeah it's just wet yeah it's just it I is, hate it. It is. Now, it do you sucks. do any kind of um, Gatorade or electrolyte water to no. try yeah. to? No, no, no. water. <laughs> no. Never any water. No, I mean, I would drink like Guzzle. full on, yeah. um, what is that? Pedialyte Pe- before yes. going out and doing stuff like that. Yeah, that makes sense. And it sense. just makes you feel like an alcoholic because it's like, yeah. I'm not hung over. I just yeah. am fat and sweaty. Yeah. It is a great yeah. thing when you see an adult drinking Pedialyte. Though. Well, did you see that they just leaned into it and now made sparkling Pedialytes for they adults? Did? No. They I were like, all right, we know what's up. We, we know <laughs> our fucking Well, listen, market. who's, who's going to shame you into getting a little extra hydration? Exactly. You know? Nobody. Yeah. Pedialyte is that, it is kind of. Gross and it's syrupy. gross, it's salty, and kind of a thick water. It's a thick water. Yeah, a thick water. A thick mm, water. A lovely thick salty water. Mm. Oh. Mm. They should make cocktails with Pedialyte. They yeah. do. It they helps do? you out yeah. while you're uh, in the midst of it. Yeah, get a jump on things. We should put in a. We should put like um nice coconut rum. We we'll definitely put yes. some pomegranate. Yeah. Pomegranate, sure. Parsley, yeah. yeah. Parsley. <laughs> um, <laughs> sure. Parmesan. Yeah. Parmesan. Yeah. Oh God. Seasoned meat. I don't know. I like tequila a lot. Tequila is all I can drink because it's the only thing I can drink and like wake up the next morning and be Are you fine. Serious? Yeah, oh, okay. that's I, such a strange thing to, to I know, right? Yeah. To be your thing, I but I like. can't do vodka because it makes me sick, and I can't uh-huh. do gin because no it's gin. basically just vodka with flavor. What about whiskeys? Uh, no, I don't like dark liquors. Okay, except for is cold tequila. Tequila is <laughs> not dark. Is it? No, it, there's get, a, well, there's a rainbow. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> they're options. Well, because I guess mezcals are technically. Technically tequilas, right. but they're like a smoky tequila. Yeah. Ooh. There's smoke. two kinds: what, reposado and and yeah. Yeho, Right. Yeah. Wait, they smoke it over a barrel or something. I think they smoke the agave before they make it. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Tell. Don't ask me questions yeah. about science. I'm an idiot. I think wood chips and uh, what, yeah, wood, yeah, wood chips yeah. and telephone wires. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Añejo. Yeah. 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 That's the distinction. Oh God. Uh. 
Did you develop a taste for tequila in Texas? You lived there for no. a while. Oh, yeah. I lived in Texas, like, starting in junior high. Where? Which city? Uh, Houston. Just okay. outside of Houston. Yeah. 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 H-Town. Have you, Have you H-Town. been to H-Town down? Beyonce uh, I, I is our main have. export. I oh, yes. Have. That's right. Oh, just spotted at Target in yeah, LA and West Twitter. I know. Twitter was she alive with. Stunning. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Ugh. I wish I could wear a pantsuit. Orange pantsuit in Target. Love it. <laughs> Gorgeous. Yeah. Well, she probably just wanted to stay under the radar. Oh, she should have just gone in in a red shirt. No one would have looked at her. <laughs> I know it's like so pardon me ma'am do you, can you tell me, me where yeah. yeah do you know where the onion rings are <laughs> <laughs> no I do not <laughs> okay wait how how long in Texas well when I was born uh, I was born in Louisiana and then three days after I was born I was adopted and moved to Egypt and then I lived in okay, Egypt <laughs> and then I moved and then we moved to Norway and then we moved to wow. London and then when I was in junior high I moved back to America as like a weird queer little British kid almost oh, wow. like a half God. accent and right. then I got made fun of all through high school in Texas and was like I gotta get the fuck out of Texas <laughs> I'm sure it was not fun yeah I can imagine yeah I remember back in the east coast we had a guy from Alabama we bullied him so uh, hard yeah. <laughs> that he lost his accent in like two weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My accent was gone. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. But like right when I came in, and my brother had a, a, a worse accent than mm-hmm. I did. Yeah. And by the time I got back, I was like, I need to drop this. Yeah. I need to start acting normal. Yeah. And then the worst part was the right before my first day at an American school, my mom got, I got braces the day before. Oh, wow. So yeah. I was still trying to like figure out how to talk with braces. Sure. With a <laughs> bad that. accent. Yeah. And just being like a chubby little black kid in an all white school. I was yeah. like, this is not the life I dreamed of. <laughs> a chubby black, vaguely foreign, international yeah. traveling. I was the braces. weird kid yeah. who thought that all of America was just what was on MTV. Oh, like, I thought America yeah. was like spring break all the time. Well, it kind of is. You can follow it around. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, Egypt. Egypt. Plucked from her crib. That's right. You know, yeah, snatched was, away. I was snatched, snatched away by two night. white people. Uh, the <laughs> typical. And, yeah. No. Like uh, the Lindbergh baby. <laughs> <laughs> to Egypt. Yeah. Egypt was f- like, I don't Wait, really remember much of it. Are you the prince of Egypt? I wish. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Riding those ponies around. What, so wait, how long in Egypt? I was in Cairo, Egypt, from till I was around maybe three. Okay, so no memories. No memories. Yeah. No real memories of Norway either. It was London. That was your heavy yeah. drinking period. Yeah, that's yeah. when I was always blacking out. <laughs> <laughs> blacking out from ages three to six <laughs> <laughs> on Norwegian liquor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I don't really remember Norway what much. I remember like uh, skiing, kind of, or like sledding or something, sure. but nothing yeah. really. And yeah. then in the UK is when like I have my first memories. Oh, okay. okay. And it was yeah. always that my mom would throw these crazy birthday parties. Parties, mm-hmm. which were just did you do crazy themed birthday parties because i was just talking to someone and no no i'd be mean, just birthday like like birthday uh, themed birthday yeah, parties birthday, yeah. yeah birthday <laughs> no. oh i guess this is weird no no My no, no, no. i think it's, it's typical yeah no and there would be like like real housewives level all yeah out. like there would be like uh, the backyard would, would be set up there'd be caterers and then the ninja turtles Sounds would show rich. up <laughs> well, and then they would well the ninja turtles didn't stay for long girl <laughs> and the catering wasn't great <laughs> but the ninja turtles would pop in for like 15 minutes and i now realize going back and looking at the pictures it was like the knockoff ninja turtle oh, oh sure. sure it was like yeah, not yeah. good ninja come, tortoises Dance yeah. for a minute and then get out. Yeah, like karate, kung fu tour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But they in cater by catering, you probably been. You're like your cousin Denise just like went to Wendy's. And yeah, they would a just be like times. a ta- yeah. <laughs> Actually, no. Sometimes it was KFC for the buffalo chicken. Oh, That's all yeah. we would okay. eat. Okay, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And so okay, so then then um, the UK. Where in the UK? Uh, we were in a place called Buckinghamshire, which is uh, Buckinghamshire. outside of London. Outside mm-hmm. where? Okay. Uh, I think it's north. The only way into London is pretty much by like train. I mean, is it rural ish that area? Green, greenery. It's very green. It's by this area called Gerard's Cross, Gerard's Cross, which is like a big park, okay. like oh. a bunch of trees and stuff. So it yeah. was kind of like a private thing. But our street was like right behind a movie theater, mm-hmm. and then there was just like a line of houses. Okay. But the craziest thing was while we were there, the lady that lived across the street from us was Nicole Kidman's personal chef shut the fuck up i know and so when i was a kid i got these headshots once a year from nicole kidman to me <laughs> That's so but it was like a different headshot but i was like who the fuck is nicole kidman i was a uh, little kid yeah little did you know little kids are <laughs> actually her biggest market these yeah. days oh truly big little lies little kids love that did she just that. come out in a new movie 
She's been in every movie since 2005. That's oh, true. I had no idea. That's true. Yeah. 60 oh, movies, I 40, think, total. Uh, yeah. 400 films oh, you're from right. 2015 to the present day. It's amazing. The Incredible. work ethic in that lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Once she got away from the Scientology. <laughs> but she's she been was, in everything. Yeah. She's she really has. She she's was in the icon. latest John Cameron Mitchell movie, How to Talk to Girls at Parties. Really? She's actually been in two John Cameron Mitchell movies, what? Rabbit Hole and this one. Yeah. Oh. She was just in um, Boy Erased. Um, the boy the replaced boy replaced <laughs> yeah. and then um girl enhanced girl- <laughs> 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 oh my god. i love a trilogy oh uh. my god aquaman who knew oh that's right she plays aquaman she plays aquaman oh. and she did a great yeah. job yeah i haven't seen it um and then uh she was really good in oh the destroyer movie oh i didn't see that i didn't see that one either that was the the, the sort of like oscar bait charlie's there and i'm gonna make myself look so hideously uh, ugly to win an oscar type oh, of thing gotcha. yeah yeah it was it wasn't a great movie really although yeah. tatiana maslany was amazing in it oh she's amazing she's in everything. always amazing yeah, yeah, she yeah. Is. she's yeah. a fan of she's a fan of drag huge fan of uh, really yeah. a, a fan huge of the show hi yeah. tatiana yeah oh, she's, hi. Gonna, she's gonna do a movie club yeah, yeah, yeah. at some point oh, yeah it's gonna be amazing i know right she's currently in new york York doing a production of Network, and she plays, I believe, the Faye Dunaway role, and Brian Cranston plays the Howard oh. uh, Beale role, which I, it must be amazing. I've seen wow. some stills from it; it looks That's fantastic. Insane. Yeah, she's one of those people that's like um, very, very, very talented, and like uh, disgustingly so. Almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you're just like, <laughs> oh, you're one of those actors who like has all the skills mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? yeah, exactly. Like, like you're not. I mean. You know, a lot of most I was Hollywood. I always forget that most people are just like they're just looking pretty. Yeah, they're just sure, looking yeah. pretty. Yeah, and they can repeat after me. Yeah, and well, yeah. Sometimes you only have to do two words. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. yeah, and do a good turn to camera. And you can ask them how to do it better. Yeah, that's right. Like, sometimes I feel like they could let in people who are very subpar. <laughs> Do you like, think? Wait, do you think that, that might do you happen? Think that's how Hollywood may be. Wait a work. second. What if they? I also think that sometimes they may be on drugs. <gasps> oh no! Wait a second. I, Hold on a second. I don't know if we can air this. We I mean, can't this tell is... people the secret. No. What, what are you chilling? Expose. These are just allegations. Too real. I don't drugs on Hollywood. Why? I know. Listen, I'm glad I'm sitting down. Frankly, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm blown away. First by this Kevin movie. Hart. Now this. What? <laughs> um, what? What? What, yeah. what about that dear sweet Kevin Hart? What? <sighs> don't you talk? What? Someone told me that Ellen just told us that he was okay. Oh yeah. You know what? You know what? Ellen can't do uh say Suck it's okay oh, okay yeah she can't um she can't uh what is it exonerate or pardon a homophobia wholesale yeah because she doesn't have the keys to that kingdom i no. thought she spoke for the people <laughs> well, well she is a gay um but that does not mean she can she's speak a power for... gay but she's she's a she's a white lesbian woman yep. who's very very rich mm-hmm. maybe she's friends with kevin hart that's great but um she does not have the like you don't get to it, tell me who to forget exactly. you don't get to tell anybody what to do no, just because you, you have a tv show yeah Listen, guys, no, like, he's my friend. I'm not racist. I have a black friend. And he, you know, like, that kind of thing. And he's a good comedian, like me. He's a good guy. And he's, he's sorry, it was over 10 years ago. It's like, honey. I think it was less about what he said back then and more about how he handled it in the present. Like, uh, also yeah, what he sure. said was terrible. Yeah, yeah, But, like, when great. you're called out, the worst thing to do is to fucking double down. Oh, and yeah. And be like, no, I agree with everything I said before. He played the victim. Yeah. He was like, um, his response, instead of, like, listen... I'm really sorry. I said homophobic shit. I am not that way anymore. It, and, and I've changed. Yeah. I went from A to C, to Z or whatever. He was like, I'm happy. You can't like stifle my happiness with your negativity. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, what it's are like, you talking about? He's just trying to like, he's shouting into a void about like, um, don't uh, come for him on social media. Or whatever. I was like, oh man. Yeah, like, totally the wrong approach. The wrong approach. I mean, it was weird. At least if he did it the right way and also threw in like, you know, I'm kind of a dummy and I yeah. always talk like this when I was a kid and I didn't realize. Sure, it's yeah. not hard. Like, yeah, and just yeah. Be like 10 years ago, it was a different time when we were yeah. all calling each other faggots and saying, yeah. that's yeah. gay. Yeah. yeah. Because well, they weren't even jokes like that. Yeah, no, thing about, it was like, actually just like, it's like he's I'm just gonna, hateful. I'm going to yeah. beat up my kid if he's gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm going to knock that gay right out of my baby. <laughs> I'll yeah. throw him out the window if he's gay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. So maybe it's like, I would not do that today. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Things have changed. But he yeah. wouldn't say that. No, he wouldn't. I don't think he, he so. Says, I don't, he said, I don't have a homophobic bone in my body. What about organs? I, yeah. I know. What, what about that heart, bitch? Hello. Skin, largest organ in the body. Small intestine. Yeah. I was like, well, 
I, I don't get yeah. it. Yeah. I don't get it. But there is like a pride, maybe, um, and then vanity. I don't know. What's it, funny too is he has a new movie coming out uh, with Nicole Kidman. Oh, that's no! Right. I, I, swear wait, I swear to God, I swear to God, it's called The Upside. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, and with Brian Cranston as yeah. well. Oh wow! Nicole yeah, also one of the other hardest working women in show business, oh, Brian Cranston. Super hard working. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. Lindsay Lohan's on a promo tour too for her new show. The the how is that the, going? The, the beach I think, beach life. I think it premieres Mykonos today. Premieres tonight. Yeah, I will be watching. Wait. Same here. Twelve one hour episodes. I'm very Tw- excited. Twelve one yeah. hour episodes. But it's not all about her. It's like no. her Vanderpump rules. Exactly. Like, oh, so she's, she's the Lisa Vanderpump. Yeah, she's that's... gonna be doing stop in. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Exactly. Okay. Hopefully there's a lot of her though. Yeah, I need to see a lot more yeah. of her. Did you ever see the Oprah series? <sighs> yes. I watched that religiously. I could not Wait, stop. So what was that? What was that? It was when she was living in New York and she was trying to get sober again and Oprah was like her guide, but then Oh God, was that the thing where she said, Let's celebrate that? Yes. As I when know, she's I like, Have you done Coke gifts. today or something? And she's like, No. I've only done it ten times in my life. In my life. I? And then oh, like it Mary, just does why? these flashes why? of her. <laughs> she's a mess. Bloody oh, yeah. no, cue the but she nose. didn't want to get better in that was the problem with that. Well, oh Lord. And Oprah w- was very, very sanctimonious when she started her network saying, I'm not going to truck in any of this kind of exploitation television, oh, this reality garbage. And then that's exactly what Oprah did. Exactly, so six Oprah, months like, later, yeah. Backed out. And I was like, there was numerous times where Lindsay just clearly didn't want to be on that show anymore, but it was like, it felt like Oprah was being like, get on the camera. Oh yeah, and then she yeah. even flew in to have that little powwow yeah, with her. Yeah, she sat her down and like put her up in makeup and stuff and she didn't want to be like she looked no. like she was just crying. I think the thing that people forget about is like it's not about you. Yeah. It's like when you're um like a a mess trying to like who's lying about your sobriety and, and, yeah. and yeah. in public and it, it's just very like in bad taste and it also it doesn't just poorly reflect on you. It just sends a terrible message. No, yes. Yeah, it does. You know what I mean? Yeah, Not that you have to be a spokesperson, but it's like, if you're putting yourself into that position, you kind of are yes. being one. Especially if you're saying, basically, this is me on the road to recovery. Yeah. I'm committing to this, but you're not really, you're partying with a bunch of strange people. Yeah. yeah. All things being equal, like, in a normal life, it's hard. Like, with Oprah and cameras, Get out of town. Yeah. yeah. Get out of town. Oprah always makes it harder. She yeah. carries syringes in her purse. I've seen them. Oprah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Free bases cocaine in the bathroom. She sent me a cease and desist. <laughs> really? Yeah. What, tell us about that. I did a, uh, you get a car room. number where I like used her, um, her Jenny Craig commercial about the bread. What? I used that. And then, um, because it was actually her spoken word and taken from a commercial with her, yeah. it wasn't a parody of her right. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. in trouble and they sent me the cease and desist. So I did it two more times and then stopped doing it. Cease and desist from where? Like, like just from, uh, the, from Jenny Craig or like, oh, did it wow. end up on yeah. YouTube or something? Or yeah, it was that... on YouTube and they kept taking it down. I was like, why oh. does this keep happening? And oh, I kept I putting it back up. Yeah. Yeah. And it was yeah. because of the commercial. Okay. But it's framed at my mom's house. Of course, <laughs> yeah. When I got, I used to post it's for weird. the Prince party for Videodrome. I, I had all the videos before, you know, when he was still alive. Yeah. I did not want anything on the internet. So I keep like starting Vimeo channels and posting the whole catalog as promo, oh. and they would all get pulled down. But I'd love getting a note from Paisley Park Enterprises. It's fun. It is. It's, it's fun, lots fun of when fun. a big company tells you to oh, you, stop. Totally. J Lo yeah. told me to stop. Stop what? Um, being so fabulous. Yeah. No, um, she, <laughs> no, she. To- I was like, I I tweeted something. Um, I think I might have photoshopped my face on her head or something like that. Or I was like, I'm so excited to be in dance rehearsals again with Jennifer Lopez. You know, something it, it was not true. Yeah, um, like obviously. Yeah, yeah, not obviously true. Obviously not true. <laughs> right, right. And me like in a potato sack going, Ugh, or whatever, <laughs> something like that. And her team contacted my management, and my management calls were like, "Could you please remove that tweet you, that Jennifer Lopez mentioned?" Her team is like, um, just doesn't want any confusion. Oh wow. Confusion about what? It was yeah. a joke. Well, I, I guess it shows the estimation they have of the intelligence level of also, her fans. Or maybe, but also maybe like because you have reach. so many fans, you have a huge yeah, reach. Yeah, that's true. Like, that's maybe she's got a gay assistant. Oh, she got a gay assistant that ain't You know fun. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, check um, this out. Look how funny this is. And then boom. Yeah, right. It's gone. Yeah. 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 Gone. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what do you think uh, she uh, smells like? J-Lo? Yeah. Money. Yeah. It's like the one time I walked behind Parker Posey down the street one time and I was just like, I can just smell money and like fun <laughs> and she was like walking and just laughing by herself and i was like this is exactly how i want to remember Wait, you j-lo no parker, oh, parker Posey. Posey but i say. imagine j-lo is the same way except for just like surrounded by men oh sure how is that? yeah because yeah. laughing wouldn't be my my read on her i would just like 
smirking. I, s- no, always I, thinking about a workout. She's always I would, working. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like she's a bitch. Really? Yeah. Huh. I feel like she's probably a bitch. But I don't know. I never heard. Huh. Never I heard anything about her. I bet she could be a her. bitch. I heard yeah. Alan's a bitch. I've heard that yeah. too. I've I heard, heard she's a nightmare. A couple people, yeah. I think, or someone who worked on her show, or someone's partner worked on a show, and they were like, "Yeah, just don't horrific." Yeah. yeah. Oof. It kind of. She's one of those people that when you hear that, you go, "I can see that." Yeah. I can see that, but also like maybe some people just get it miss. Like, because sometimes people call me a bitch, but it's because I'm so overly focused on one thing that like I cannot focus on that other yeah. thing that you want me to think sure. about at that time yeah. so i'm like i'm not responding to that yeah. right now i don't have the mental capacity yeah. yeah and also some people want to have pals it's a work situation oh yeah that's the other sure. trouble yeah. i hate when i'm trying to film something and i have like a camera guy there and they want in on the conversation mm-hmm. and i'm like can i just i need to do my job yeah. and like if you're talking at me i'm losing it yeah, yeah put yeah, the right. ball gag back in your mouth yeah. <laughs> get behind <laughs> the get camera boy don't yeah. talk <laughs> i'm very ambitious mm-hmm. and um conniving and um <laughs> when i'm focused i don't see human body shapes yeah. i just see my goal yep mm-hmm. a big glittering mound of gold gold <laughs> and um <laughs> anybody who gets in the way is a problem yeah and they need to be dealt with and mm-hmm. cut down it's violence <laughs> yes oh, of course <laughs> that's the best way to do it yeah oh it keeps God. you inspired but Ellen, I probably she's she probably exaggerated this. The scrutiny is probably a little bit, oh, yeah. you know, emphasized because of her p- persona. Yeah, and also her status and her success yeah. level yeah. too. I didn't realize she was so rich. Phenomenal, she made like rich, right? Eighty million dollars oh, yeah. last year or some oh, shit. Oh yeah, those like syndicated crazy. talk shows, if they Fuck. hit, and that's right? a hit. Yeah. yeah, and that is a hit. Yeah, yeah. I, you forget. for like years. That's yeah. why Oprah's so loaded. I used yeah. to live in Burbank, and they just have at the Warner Brothers Studios. She's always the big picture on the outside of it. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. always Ellen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You forget like what a real hit show is because yeah. I mean right. I do anyways. Where I'm like, I like uh, uh, these like teeny little weenie shows. Even Drag Race is a small, small show. I remember teeny little weenies. Teeny that... weenies. Oh, that's yeah. a good yeah, yeah, one. Yeah. Teeny weenies was great. Season two was awful. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, that's when Logo had trouble with new programming. <laughs> <laughs> it's just little weenies <laughs> on a they tray. A, the trouble is they had to blur a lot of stuff. Yeah, just, you know, when you can't see the teeny yeah. weeny, what are we doing? Yeah, here? what the hell are we? Yeah, what's it yeah. about? But anyway, so you were saying, uh, what would you um, if you could be a cast member on any like major television show, both um, present or in the past, what would it be? Oh, that's hard. I think uh, maybe Arrested development i okay. love the comedy in that one yeah i feel like meatball would be a great character in that yeah like just like yeah. a weird yeah. person that's overly confident and doesn't yeah. deserve to be yes <laughs> a i don't know maybe seinfeld i've been super into that right now yeah yeah, yeah. i feel like on seinfeld you'd be like a, a vegetarian named meatball yep definitely mm-hmm. yeah. yeah yeah what would you be on I want to be on like uh, Law and Order SVU or something <gasps> like that. Oh my god! As a perp, as like a three episode arc. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. sure. Oh, yeah, now, yeah. would you kidnap Olivia in it? That was the great one. Yeah, I would do like I want to do like a, a one, two, three punch. So it's like I want to do like a um, I'm the victim, I'm the perp, I'm both. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. okay. It was the crime was. Inside they had no the idea it was coming. No, no, yeah. and it'd be uh, spanning the end of one season. And yeah. the beginning of another. Yes. There you now, go. Now, which season would you do? Do you know the seasons that well? I which hair not. would you want on Mariska? No idea. What length? Okay. No idea. I don't even watch the show. Oh. Uh, no. They got real serious. Once Christopher Maloney left, the storylines got crazy. Yeah, you're right. Because they were like, we got to fill in for like the beloved character. Yeah. And that's what Olivia starts getting kidnapped every two weeks and like <laughs> yeah. beaten and stuff. And you're like, all right, I can't watch this. They're anymore. all sexual crimes, right? They yes. are, yeah. Jesus Christ. And a lot of them involve children. And it's like oh, very perfect. uncomfortable. Yeah. Like dead raped kids. Yeah. Or sometimes they're yeah. living and you have to watch them give a testimony in court. And you're like, that kid can't act. Yeah. But also that must <laughs> right. hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Christopher Maloney was on that. Yeah. One of the reasons he's not on that anymore is, I guess, you know, he had some salary demands. Dick Wolf, who's the show god, right, yeah. of that show, worked on Miami Vice. They had so many problems with Don Johnson that he said, the next show I do, I don't care who it is, no one's going to be bigger than the show. It's about the stories, you know? It's about the sex crimes, it's about for Christ's sake. Yeah, it's that's not right. about you, Christopher. It's sex a... crime is the star of the show, like, much like this show. Well, I love, I love Christopher Maloney, uh, Christopher Maloney in Oz, speaking of sex crimes. Oh, Ooh, there you go. That's when he blasted yeah. that hole. Yeah. <sighs> there was some weird gay stuff going on in that show. I never watched it. Teeny little, fr- I mean, the, the scenes were never more than like three seconds. 
but they would be like a blowjob and then a, and then an anal rape and then a a lot of them per episode uh, yeah, as well. Quite yeah, quite a bit. So I remember my yeah. folks being like, "This is a great show called Oz." I was like, "Well, great. You guys like good stuff." I sat down with them. I was like, "Not watching this. This with is you. not about Dorothy." <laughs> somebody shoved a spoon up a guy's ass. Oh, oh sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Spooning, yeah, spooning. I've been there. Big spoon or little spoon? Yeah. What's your favorite TV show right now? Are you watching TV? Uh, I just finished the all of Hannibal from start to finish. Oh, in like in like four that days, one three good. or four days. <laughs> so it wait, I'm getting so, a picture here of you shoveling so pomegranates bad. into your mouth <laughs> yes. with the juice running down the side of your face. <laughs> I need more about pomegranates. Your yeah, and then yeah. staring at your poop going, "There's blood in there." Yeah. <laughs> I watched a man. I was eating Indian food, lovely, <laughs> and I watched a man cut off his face and feed it to dogs. His own face. His own face. And then Whoa. cut off his own nose and eat it. Oh. So what dish did you pair that with? Yeah. That was with yeah. uh, chicken vindaloo. Oh, okay, good. A coconut curry would have been mm, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. You don't want peshwari naan with that because it could, could gross <sighs> you out. It was, the, the, the series was so bloody. It was yeah. really, really bloody and violent. And it was so... I liked it a lot. <laughs> but, it was, but it was like... But anyway, at a certain point, it's like... The, so Hannibal is the like he's a villain. Yeah, he's, he's a killer. Okay, and it's like the fact that he's such a central character for so much of it without people knowing that he's responsible for anything is so ridiculous. And it starts to wear on you. Like, a bit. He's, yeah, he's yeah. working for the FBI. Oh, I didn't helping, know that. Yeah, he's consulting with the main guy. Working for the FBI, he's in the middle of it all. Yeah, like Dexter. And he's essentially. Yes, there's like yeah. four people in the whole show. <laughs> so it's like once the three are ruled out as the, not the killer, it's like, damn. <laughs> and it's like, it's just the FBI, for some reason, just the FBI, um, you know, they oversee like serial killings, which are serial killers. Uh, they which oversee, have, they're like, you're not <laughs> doing like, yeah, this correctly. We're, yeah. we're going to come back in. <laughs> in this world, there's like a serial killer like every three months. <laughs> sure, <laughs> yeah. Know? Who's been at it for years. Oh, years. For yeah, 17 yeah. years, I've been caught. And then like, like when it, for example, like one day, the, there's a totem pole of corpses on a beach. Oh, yeah. I did see that one. <laughs> like, I was, come on. And Get there's also, grip. what about the one where like the person's like spread out open oh, with their insights? An- with the, the elk wings. antlers. Yep, they got elk oh. antlers. And it's like, listen, I know what it takes to mount, um, like, <laughs> a uh, totem pole of bodies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bodies. Have you done that before? It's like, you need at least four good, like, stagehands yeah. that would know <laughs> yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. And you, if you're going to do it, like, illegally with nobody, like, catching you, yeah. Yeah. one man? I don't no. think so. No. No. Sorry, no. Mary. No. No not assistance. E- nope. It was very far fetched. Not even with some no dose. It's not happening. <laughs> a perfect tableau. Like the you know you go to visit the guy in the hospital and oh shit, it's the security guard who's like flayed from like uh, with fishing hooks and displayed and opened and like the heart is on a on a tray with a little like duke. I don't know. Yeah, and like a it's thank like you that. note and stuff. And yeah, a, and it's all mint. clean and Whoa. precise yeah. and amazing. Yeah. That's too much for me. It, yeah, it just feels like very unrealistic. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know. You could make it less. Weird, yeah, I mean, yeah. less ri- yeah. ridiculous. It's just be a guy chopped up or something. Yeah, it's, yeah. I think it's like an insult to people who like make stuff with their hands and to actual serial killers. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, because yeah. now Shout it's out. like step your game up. What yeah. are you doing? <laughs> just leaving them in dumpsters? Yeah. yeah. I wonder. Do you think they get insecure watching yeah. the show? They're like, <laughs> oh, I don't know. You can do really. so much in an hour. <laughs> but you know what, though, for for gourmands and people who are like culinary um uh inclined, the the cooking segments because he cooks all the yeah. yeah right are exquisite because this is the Hannibal from the Silence of the Lambs yeah. right yeah. character have you ever seen yeah. Manhunter it's, no, no I don't okay. have that's it, the that's I in the same universe it. right uh, yeah is it's that, it's the first v- movie that was made mm. from the universe it was done by Tom, Michael Thomas Mann Thomas Harris did he did he die did he um, do a book? I think the book yeah I think he wrote the book it's right Mindhunter uh, no uh, well there's Manhunter. Mindhunter but Manhunter came out in like eighty four and so Michael Mann but the guy behind Miami Vice made it and it stars um the guy who's the william what, the guy from csi the original csi oh, yeah the yeah, main yeah. guy i wish i could remember it's william peterson william and peterson. um quirky yeah and fun. yeah quirky and fun it's a laugh riot it's yeah. really good dennis farina's <laughs> in it he's a barrel of laughs uh, william what's his name able to transition from comedy to to drama seamlessly and on a dime exactly <laughs> yep <laughs> much like meatball yeah rolls through it yeah, yeah just yeah. always doing the drama and yeah. You've had some interesting uh, gore-related uh, instances oh, in Dragon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that yeah. thing from two years ago. That yeah. was two years ago? That was maybe, yeah, I think it was two years ago. 
because I've only been doing drag for three years now. Oh, wow. Okay. And I did that like one year in. So Dragula, for those not familiar with it, I'm sure most of you are, it's a show put on by the Boulay Brothers yep. based off of the nightclub party night. called yeah. Dragula. Yep. yep. And it was just like a series of challenges. The nightclub show was like you had to do three challenges that were all kind of gross. Like, I don't know, like play with dead fish, jump on a trampoline oh, yeah. and like rec- re- like recite poems and stuff. Wait, wait. What now? <laughs> That, this is what I had to do. I, I won the Dragula it. Club competition twice. And yeah. the first time I won, after they gave me a bucket of dead fish and put a tiny trampoline on the stage, and they're like, you know what to do. And it was the well, divine. Wow. So I like got up there and started fucking myself with these dead fish. And then like... On the trampoline. P- on the trampoline while bouncing and then poured the whole bucket over myself with all these dead fish falling mm. on me. And I and then I took a bite out of one and spit it. And then Ooh. I later threw up because that yeah. was so gross. But I was like, I'm here to win. Yeah, I, didn't I came did. here yeah. to fuck fish. I came here to win. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a shame you couldn't have barfed on stage. Uh, true. I yeah. probably would have won doing that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so then yeah, so then they made a show and it was on YouTube. But now I guess it got pulled off of YouTube. It's what? not on there anymore. What do you mean? Yeah, and I don't know. It used to be on Amazon. It might still be there. But yeah, the original. Yeah, the, the yeah that was on Am- yeah. Dragula is gone off of YouTube. Oh, that's too And bad. season two is gone too. So I don't know where to tell you guys to go watch it if you want to get into. Go it. find it, pirates. Go find it. Yeah, yeah it, tweet the Boulay brothers. Yeah, that's see right. what's up with that. I want to do a, a show um, with the Goulet brothers, like Robert Goulet. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they called Dracula. Uh-huh. Oh, so yeah. it's just like the just, regular, just but telling maybe the like story. two C's or something. D R A C C, and it's just a pageant where we try to look like Dracula <laughs> and sound like Robert Goulet. Yeah, and he's the yeah. host. Two of yeah, them. That's right. Hello, yeah. there's Hello. just two. <laughs> Welcome to the stage. There's always Dracula. a mirror. <laughs> we have a it, fabulous show for you, ladies so and gentlemen. Boring. Wait, but yeah. you never saw Dracula? No, I've seen it. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I've seen it. Yeah, I've saw. Um, I've seen like I haven't watched it like uh, you know start to finish, yeah. like, watching in pieces and stuff. Um, but I yeah, I'm always like struck by the. Um, grossness of some of the challenges absolutely because i haven't seen anything like that since like fear factory yeah it's yeah, definitely like sure. very fear factory i yeah. i'm glad that i was on season one before they started doing like the real gross stuff and describe like, a few of those uh, real gross ones the real gross that... ones are like uh you had to get needles through your body yeah, and see, they got bit the needles got big yeah. they forced them to get well they didn't force them you had the option to get a tattoo <laughs> ah and it had to, I guess, say Dragula on it. Oh, no. Wow. So they both got like, one of them got, wanted it to say Dragula slut, but instead the tattoo artist in a van behind the Orpheum Theater uh, put <laughs> slut Dragula. Skinny Marie. <laughs> so now she just permanently has slut Dragula tattooed on her. Wow. Um, what are some of the other weird ones? Mine, they like put us in coffins and buried us. Yeah. I, I which I did one. not love. But that I was only lot. did one challenge. Like I was only ever in the bottom once. So I didn't mm-hmm. have to do it that much. Did they have you sign an extensive, um, not like NDA, but like a, a waiver? Yeah. Basically, like if we died, it's not their fault. Yeah. I, but I feel like that's how most reality TV shows are. I'm now. sure. Yeah. I bet yeah. even Vanderpump Rules has that. Yeah. 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 But they don't put you in like the weird. Like, well, they're, they're, yeah, they're not putting you. Yeah. yeah they're not <laughs> trying to like hang you from hooks or anything. Yeah. True. True. Yeah. That's interesting because I was thinking about what I would and wouldn't do. And a lot of it has to do with I wouldn't. Um, permanently mark yourself. I wouldn't permanently mark myself. I wouldn't get sick. Like I wouldn't uh, salmonella. Or, oh, like, yeah, but I, yeah, think, yeah. I mean, like as that. much as like I think the brains were are they were real pigs brains. I think that they took precautions. They gotta be cooked. They gotta cook them. Or they like have to cook them. Steam them or do something, something. just to get the inside yeah, up to temp. Because I don't them. think you could give someone raw, raw like actual yeah. raw stuff unless well, it's steak like tartare. Yeah, I was about to say yeah, sushi is raw. That's true. Yeah. It just has to be like fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they might have been fresh. Last year's brains. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> can't have this no, sitting around. I, the show was so fun to be a part of, and it was like a great experience, it seemed, it seemed especially because cool. it was like my first year in drag, and that was like yeah. a great yeah. way to end. Sure, my first year. And how did you first get into drag? I started drag like three years ago. I I went through a really bad breakup mm-hmm. and watched a ton of Drag Race. Oh yeah, um, weirdly because sure. I was like in that between didn't, jobs that and didn't, I, like put you further in the hole. Yeah, it didn't totally no. didn't put you <laughs> in for despair. For some reason, and, yeah. it didn't. I found joy in it. I actually <laughs> cried anytime Latrice was on. Oh, oh really? Because yeah, yeah, she yeah, was yeah. always such like a fount of positivity and yeah. like doing all that, and I felt like fat and alone, and like <laughs> I was just like, she's fat, and she's living. I want to be like her. Eat it. And then I want to be um, chunky and funky. And then my friend took me to see Raven and Morgan perform mm-hmm. at Mickey's, and I was like, oh, I could do this. This isn't. This doesn't yeah. seem hard. Oh, they're, yeah. Yeah. I was like, they're, <laughs> just, talented they're just hacks. up there, talented <laughs> and doing whatever, and <laughs> I'm going to do it too. And then I, you know, you quickly find out how hard it is. But I did my first night at a club called, 
I haven't been there. The boom box? Uh, uh, <laughs> I, the party was called Exposure. It's in Highland Park. I forget the name of the club, but mm. it's like where all the LA queens get started out here. Oh, show me over in Highland Park. Just That's head on over just there. Just hop over to Highland yeah. Park. Just yeah. a quick stop. <laughs> and um, yeah, and then I did. Can oh. you get on Drag Race? Me? Can you go on Drag Race? I, uh, I like. Are you eligible? Yes, having, I think I'm eligible yeah, to do. I that. always wondered that about the the Dragula girls. Yeah, right? I think so. I haven't really looked too deep into that. Are there things that make people ineligible for the well, it's show? Like a, if you... Criminal records. Oh well, that's not Uh-oh. true because not we true know you season seven. It. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mama, I am the boom boom criminal. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's like a, what is it? It's the, um, the non compete. You can't do like two oh, of the same thing. Yeah. Sure, yeah. sure, right, right, so, right. Um, you couldn't be featured. I guess. Could you be featured in um, Marie Kondo's um, uh, new, uh, what is that called? Do you know what that's called? The Netflix special where it's all about the Japanese lady tidies you up? Oh, oh, no, wait, what, what is, is that, that called? That? Tidying up, up or cleaning up um, or something? I would love for her to come fix my house. She should come organize your drag. Yeah. What does your drag room look like? Girl, it's disgusting. Yeah. So uh, right now I have I have it a lot like I have it consolidated costumes to like a closet, mm-hmm. but I have a whole dining room table that's just loose makeup and like bits and love just it. junk. Yeah. It's like a junk drawer that and it's just but it's bad. taken over your living room. It's yeah. crazy how like thing how drag can just absorb your life. I remember your old apartment, <laughs> oh, Ryan. When, yeah, b- r- shortly before you were integrated out. though. It was yeah. like it was a it was a hovel. <laughs> like you just accept that it's like, oh, there's like a scientist lives here. There's gonna be some yeah. beakers or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Um, True. What apartment is this? Oh, drug paraphernalia. That took me out. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> like, no, just like. I, I, there's a beaker. And I was like, I didn't know you were making it. You made your mess, honey. That's why you're so screwed up. Yeah. From no, farm no. to table. What is your, what is your, um, uh, I, I'm so jealous of Trixie's because she has like a whole garage that is all her drag. Oh, yeah, and yeah, And none yeah, in her yeah. living space at all. Yeah. That's what really I smart. really, really wanted. That's how my, well, my last apartment, I lived on Skid Row in a. Oh, that's right. I lived. For a little while, I'm like a 3,000 square foot, just empty loft. Like, That's uh-huh. incredible. But it was me and like four other people, and we had a drag room mm-hmm. and a photo studio in oh, it. Yeah. So it would be like easy to do that. Yeah. yeah. And now, and then I moved into like a little smaller unit, still on Skid Row, didn't have a bathroom in it. Okay, what now? It didn't have a... Um, where do you got to go in the street? It didn't have a no. So the way that the <laughs> building was set up, it was that it was like an old office building. So the bathrooms were in the hall, but we had our own private bathroom. It just wasn't in our apartment it, it was in the, ne- the building across the street yeah we had to cross the street over to the women's center Wait, so, <laughs> so like, how is that how did you have a private bathroom in the women's center no <laughs> i'd have to go as a woman yeah. you have to get in full drag you gotta get in full geese and go pee yeah. standing up yeah, it's oh like bosom buddies no and now i live now my situation is just like it's all in boxes and i'm trying to like move again oh moving is the worst isn't it yeah well i just moved into a cute place and we like it was a big open loft, but it's closer and it's nicer. But we built the rooms and we did all that. And now I'm like, oh, it's too small. I got to get out. Oh, yeah. OK. And where is that? That's in downtown as well. It's, on, it's like a block away from precinct. OK. I love downtown. Yeah. It's, yeah. Would you ever move down there? I, li- I did. I got I had a, a series of unfortunate events. <laughs> um, Very lemony snicket of you. Yeah. <laughs> they pushed me away. for. Le- they just sort of said, you, you got to go. Um, <laughs> but I had the best. I had the best apartment. It was actually yeah. on Gina's old apartment in um, oh, Santee Village. God. Oh, God. So good. It was a Santee giant Alley. Lot. There's no reason for a baby queen in L.A. to look bad with Santee Alley here. No, there isn't. There is no reason. No reason at all. Tell people who are not familiar with it from out of town oh, about yeah. Santee oh Alley. It's God. quite unique. It is. It I, really yeah. is. I, it, there's it nothing like it anywhere. Shame. Yeah, it's just like a big, they call it the fashion district, yeah. but there's a part of it called Santee where they just have jewelry, basically pre-made drag clothes. Yeah. It's yeah. like a fashion nova, but in a place. And, yeah. yeah, there's like a whole and the rows, just, streets, like there's little outdoor malls. Um, where you get the junkiest junk shit to like, you know, bongs to like beaded dresses and yeah. everything. It's like a whole area. And then like if you branch out a little bit further from it, there's like the flower district. Yep. And then the fabric is all fabric. there. And then right. if you want to go to like Michael's, there's yeah. like a huge. Yeah. Oh, God, it's so great. And they have the crystals, the rhinestones. Oh, yeah. Um, trims, all that stuff. Ooh. Yeah, it's fabulous. And then they have um, a street where it's like um, weird. I feel like it's like <laughs> they're all kind of weird. They're all kind of weird. I was like, because I want to say it's like it's definitely not Latin or Latino. It's like they're like Turkish or Armenian or Iranian, like owners of these like kind of like 
bad fashion ripoff stuff. Oh it, yeah, it's a very strange. It's like kind it's, of like Euro trash uh, ho club wear. Yes, oh, it's okay. a lot of sweatpants. A lot of uh-huh. like tailored sweatpants. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> they're but they're like they but, have. But you're wearing these because you like you're working out. Mama, you didn't wear them mama, to the club. Mama, these are Balenciaga. Oh, mama. <laughs> no, they're not. Um, I got very scared. I was yeah, like, are they? These are yeah. I that's the funniest thing when people say, oh no no no. These are these are a designer. Yeah. That means, and I'm like, am I supposed like, to care more? Yeah, you're <laughs> so you paid a lot idiot. more for those yeah. than you should have. Yeah, so you yeah. paid four times the price. For, yeah. mm. um, but yeah, Cinti Alley is the bomb. Mm-hmm. It's the bomb. I wish we had, we only had Dorothy's. Which I've been to. Have you really? I loved it. It was yeah. so cute. It's I cool. was in, uh, I needed lashes real bad for that Halloween yeah. gig in Boston. Yeah. And if you need a watch and battery replaced there. too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, so you were at the Halloween gig that Brian wasn't able to do. Oh, how was oh, that? Yeah. Oh, it was really fun. Great yeah. audience. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah, huge. It, was, it is, yeah. It's and I didn't big. realize how big that stage was. What Do you remember what theater it was at? The Royale. Oh, it was the Royale. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. like a real theater theater. Yeah. We did it last, we did, uh, I did it there last year, mm-hmm. I believe, and it was, or, whatever that is a good room it was great yeah Yeah. it's really good it was funny how they did the meet and greet they like split us up into groups of three and they put me bob and tammy brown together wow and it's very interesting to see bob and how the difference between bob and tammy interacting with fans (laughs) yeah (laughs) how what's their approaches well bob just sat which uh-huh. I was like, yep, because I was like, oh, the minute she sat, they gave me permission to sit. Yeah. And I was like, yes. I'm fucking sitting here yeah. then because yeah, this yeah. is too much. Yeah. And uh, she wouldn't do, she would like, she would tell people how to stand in the pictures and stuff so you didn't look bad. Yeah. yeah. And so she was like being very helpful. But sure. like a lot of people slouch because they're next to someone taller than them. And she's like, stand up, you're going to look bad. Like she was just very like nonchalant Directed. with them. Yeah. 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 And Tammy, of course, is Tammy. She's fucking amazing. It was like giving everyone hugs and like doing her little thumb dance. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. love her. To- See Lou. Have you worked with Tammy a lot? Tammy and I do not speak. Oh, sorry. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just kidding. No, no. Yeah, I love Tammy. Yeah, she's great. She's probably my favorite drag race girl. Yeah. Like if I had to save one from the burning building, it'd be her. <laughs> yeah. Also, I feel like Did Tyra it, set that building on fire? <laughs> yeah. Or? When the Tyra calls the bomb threat into DragCon, I'm only saving Tammy. Um yeah, I feel like the if aliens came down and um and could see life through the prism of Tammy Brown. I feel, I feel like that would be such a special thing. Oh, yeah. Fully. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, Tim Brown is a weird, interesting She just thing. sees the joy in everything in a way that's hard for me to do. Yeah, but but she's not, she's not, she's not like a, a Mr. What is it? Mr. Rogers. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. She's no. very, like. She's very real. Yeah. yeah. Do you find that you trend towards pessimism or optimism? Me? Oh. Uh, pessimism, as yeah. a, I, which is why I think I get into drag so you can just like be permanently happy for a little bit. Okay, yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you experience that shift when you get into drag? Yeah, yeah. And it's weird because I hate doing my makeup. It's like after the really? makeup is done, it's like once I've, yeah, I'm a nervous fucking wreck all the way to the yeah. fucking bar. And once I get to the bar, I'm like, please don't talk to me until I get into the dressing room and uh, like have a sure. minute to be like, this is where I'm at tonight. Yeah, yeah. And sure. I need to like settle into that mm-hmm. and then have a drink. And then I'm like, all right, let's have a good time. Yeah, okay. Who's ready to party? <laughs> yeah. yeah, shots. Yeah. Yeah. No, totally. But like my least favorite thing to do in the fucking world is when I'm traveling and I have to like walk through like these random hotel lobbies and full drag uh, to get into a lift that i had to call myself yeah oh, to yeah, get yeah. there and i'm yeah. just yeah. like this is just the worst because it's like in the middle of dallas texas yeah they don't want to see this <laughs> i don't want to see yeah. this. <laughs> well you assume that yeah but you what you don't see meatball is that the men go back up to their rooms and rub one out thinking about my fat black your ass fat black ass <laughs> It's a shame that they yeah. you can't be there. Do you for ever that, experience that when you're I, in drag and I, you have to like be in public? I don't like it because I usually the way that I present on the way to a gig is like a sexy school teacher who's like about to make a presentation, mm-hmm. and um, I don't want any looks from anybody before I'm on stage. Mm-hmm. You know, like I don't want to be seen. I want to be completely I, invisible until yeah. I want to be seen. Which is why I'd I'd rather like the uh go to the venue out of drag. Mm-hmm. Like you're going uh-huh. to work. Yeah, and then get ready there. You know what I mean? To th- Maybe like in a thing. plumber's outfit, be like, "I'm here to check absolutely. the pipe in the bathroom." Yeah, got a leak in two B. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But that's not like you go to theater gig. Which was the other thing, though, is like, I don't know if you. How, how old are you? I'm 27. Okay, 
I can't do this whole staying up till four, five, six in the morning. Oh thing. no! And now they're trying to pass wow. that law in LA oh, to stay yeah. up till four. And I was like, that's oh, gonna really? be like New York, where I showed up at a gig at twelve thirty, thinking, th- or no, I showed up at eleven for a twelve thirty gig that yeah. didn't start until two. Oh good lord! Oh no, no, no. So I was just sitting no, 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 there no, no, in full no, no. drag, and it was—I mean, no offense to New York, but it was that situation where there's no dressing room. Uh, yeah. So I'm just kind of sitting in a bar w- with my luggage, waiting for the other queens to arrive. Yeah, no. And I was just like, this is why I can't have 4 a.m. in L.A. Because I don't want to be doing shows at 2 a.m. It's yeah. coming. Because the law you passed. So? Yeah. Yeah, the law, well, the law oh, passed. And now it's leave. just the thing about oh, like, them, everything getting ready, passing all the, the further administration They shit. can count me out. I'm going to be like, no, I'll do a 1230 show yeah. and then go home. I'll do the early bird at 11 mm-hmm. and I'm out of here. Yeah. Maybe matinees of the future. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, 8 o'clock show, out by 10, in bed by 11. Mm-hmm. I love that concept. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I don't... I, I don't know the the whole I I did the thing in Brazil and then some places even pl- places here like when I, like showtime's one thirty no ma'am no no nothing that's happening at one thirty is worth like it's gonna <laughs> no be, one's gonna remember it exactly. and it's not worth what you're paying and then if there's a meet and greet afterwards get the hell out of my house <laughs> I think hasn't everyone kind of switched over to the meet and greet before format well, now yeah I think so I mean it makes more sense because people are a fresher people are less drunk and then some people actually want to just do the meet and greet and not even see the show and just go yeah. home. Because oh, yeah. they just want that That's moment true. with you to say hi, hi, hello. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Tell yeah. you about their depression and then leave. Yeah. <laughs> hi there. Um, I almost killed myself, but I saw you on YouTube. And now I'm here. Yeah. And it's, you're like, it's, thank it's you. It's interesting. It's like, and they say it so quickly yep. too. Sometimes I'm not saying it's like where I'm like, you said that so succinctly, <laughs> yeah. but that's such a huge concept. Yeah. Like a. Big, but they've been big idea. Sitting, <laughs> it really is a bad the big idea. They've been sitting on like waiting to tell you all day. Like yeah. they've been like, I'm going to meet this person tonight and I have to give them yeah. this information. Yeah. And so yeah. they've been like rehearsing it, rehearsing it. Pairing and then, it down. Yeah. And then yeah. when you hear it, like normally you just hear, do you want a shot? And then when you hear, <laughs> hey, um, I'm trying to kill myself, but I love you. And you're just like, uh, uh, tequila? Yeah. I'll take a tequila. Yeah. 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 You like reading books. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, read a book before, yeah. you know. What's your favorite sports team? <laughs> I don't know. It's like it's such it's such a crazy thing, like heavy thing. I mean, you kinda take it with a grain not with a grain of salt, but with whatever. You it, Some dehydrated sweat. There yeah. you go. <laughs> Pedialyte. Take it with some Pedialyte. <laughs> I don't know. It's wacky. It's when so did wacky. when did the meet and greet thing start? Not just drag race, but in general. I have no idea. I only started doing it when I started traveling. Right. So I don't know. I think the first time I saw it as a thing was when those big drag race tours were going around. Oh, sure. And they'd be like, if you want to pay extra, you can meet these girls. I feel like this, the big stars started doing it after the okay. drag race girls. But I could be definitely wrong about that. But, but it makes sense, But like though. at the Vegas show, Britney Spears, for example, or like J-Lo, they do meet and greets for like $1,000 yeah, or $2,000. dollars yeah. Which I never saw that before. You know, it's, it was very weird. uncommon. I, I feel like that's new. Yeah, it's definitely new. Yeah. I feel like it's new. Yeah. And they have to they have to make like... They probably pocket 50 grand because that's the only way those people would do it. Oh, of course. And I'm sure yeah. it's like w- they're like told like they're only going to talk to you for one minute and then oh, they're gone. Oh, one minute, mama? Not even. Really? I'm, I'm not they're a getting minute. a high? They're pro- they get a photo. They get just the picture? Yeah, yeah. they moved into position. Oh, they don't even get the high? Photo. I think there's like a maybe a hug or something like Some that. Some kind but... of greeting. It's yeah. a greet and then a photo op. But yeah. like you're not like you're not going to tell Miss Spears your life story. No, ma'am. No, no. You know? Oh, absolutely not. Maybe you, Maybe you are. She don't Maybe that's why it. she. Yeah. She, yeah. In one ear and out the other. Yeah, but I mean, she probably has stuff in her ear, like playing. Oh, right. I feel like I she's the type of person that always needs constant stimulation. It's probably your life is great. This is really fun. <laughs> We're having this. a blast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Sharon uh, and Lesky used to say in the mirror, "Drag is fierce and fun." Yeah, drag is fierce and fun. <laughs> oh, I find myself giving myself like affirmations like that before going out all the time. Like it's yeah. gonna be great. You're gonna yeah. have a great time. <laughs> you're you're gonna. Up, you've yeah. done this a million times. You are Why amazing. are you nervous? Yeah. You're amazing. You're Nothing a gift. to worry about. They brought you here. They want to see. They you. love you. Yeah. <laughs> and then you get they there and you're you. like, everyone still hates me. <laughs> <laughs> How did this happen? You know, there could be 99 people in the room and only one believes Glenn in you. Close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If only one is going close. Did you watch the Golden Globes? I did not. I'm okay. not a big award show person. I'm sorry. No, no, no. There's no reason to be. Because I love the fashion and I love what Willa well, wore. Right. Willem Morris. Willem Morris something? No, Willem wore. Uh, <laughs> Willem went to the after party oh. in the Jackson titties. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Oh, right. And the Aquaria uh, glasses. Okay. I was very disappointed in the fashion across the board. At the I Golden thought, Globes, yeah, I did on, see the pictures. The yeah. Did you see uh, Lady J, Our Lady J's uh, green I just dress? Her, I thought that, that looked great. That thing is gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, I've that up. You did uh, almost live tweeting. 
the Golden Globes. And I lost, I ran out of steam halfway through because it was boring. I heard it was one of the worst award shows very of all forgettable. time. Very forgettable. You know, now really? they can't, yeah. Very forgettable. Yeah, there was a lot of snap. there was like a little, t- like a lot of technical, um, not snafus, but like, you know, issues. And then people were like flubbing their, um, their present, their bits and it just sucked. It was just bad. Mm-hmm. Those are no rehearsal shows. You know what I mean? No, like those yeah. people get like their lines and they're like, oh, it's on the screen. It was stiff and like a lot of the stuff was just like I was like, oh, this is a really hard job hosting the hosting this show. Yeah. yeah. You know. Maybe that's why they can't it's find a, a replacement for Kevin Hart. Yeah. Well, I will them? say he is a ball as much as I hate it. He has a ball of energy. Like if you put yeah, him on yeah, a stage, yeah. he's gonna shine. Yeah, he's very right, short. Right. Yeah. He can move very, around yeah. quick. Yeah. That's what Ooh, it is. Yeah. yeah. Compressed. Yeah. I think that's probably why those squirrely types usually aren't the ones to um, be in a gay shit. Because <laughs> <laughs> you wait, they're so they're, full of energy, they repel the gayness. Is that what you're? No, I. I the rat. I'm gonna work uh, on that yeah, one a little more. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Workshop those that one. Those squirrely ones <laughs> hate the gay. Shifty squirrels <laughs> can't trust them with any nuts. <laughs> I feel um, like the last time I saw you, you were presenting at the out, uh, out one hundred. Oh, with the, with the party, Bianca, with the gay, yeah. gay, gay party party? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that, oh yeah, Cynthia Nixon was there. Yes, Ooh. I did get a picture with Cynthia Nixon. Yeah. She was standing very uncomfortably in the VIP area. Yeah, I she was. <laughs> Harassed her. <laughs> yeah, how, how was she? Because I was, I she, saw people, you know, mobbing her, and I was like, oh, I don't want to just be another, you know, I wanted a picture. She was very friendly, very funny, and um, super nice to me. And mm. uh, uh, then... But it was also kind of that thing where, like, her people were like, oh, and make sure you guys get a picture. Can we get a photographer? It was, like, very much like, yeah. here she is with the drag queen. She loves the gay. She, was, she yeah. was nice. Like, she she was, laughed at what I said. She seemed stuff. very she game. did not want to be there, I felt uh, like. Okay. Oh, really? Because she was mm-hmm. kind of, like, in a corner hiding, didn't really yeah. want to talk to people. She thought, I'm sure she just thought it was going to be, like, a award show with a green room. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. That, so did I. And it <laughs> seemed like a lot of people were just standing behind a curtain and I was running around like yeah, a maniac. Me and Bianca. I was like, it's funny. It was like funny to see Bianca not very like, I guess she's not super social. I was like, why would I, mingling in a party is like probably the worst thing I can think of activity wise. Sweat wise, wise, yes. Sweat, hello. Um, and it's like, you're we're hired as like, or we're nightlife people as characters, as fixtures, not just as like, we're there on like on business. Yeah, you know what sure. I mean. Even if not getting party, yeah. it's like at, yeah. yeah. I, I've never been a mingler. Uh-huh. I've never been a mingler. Malingerer, yes. Malingerer, absolutely. I think when I was like more of a drunk alcoholic type, there I was definitely go. a mingler because I needed be to be out there around hosting. the booth. Sure, yeah. this is oh, okay. this sure, is sure, back sure, in sure. the three to six. But also hosting years. and talking yeah. and doing all that yeah. stuff. But now it's like, keep me in the dressing room. See, yeah. is there a back door out of here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why am I here? Yeah. Yeah. I did my thing. Um. When? How long does it take you to get into drag? From like from zero to stage, I can get I can get ready in an hour and a half. Okay, I can do my full face in forty five minutes. Mm-hmm. Okay, I prefer, and this is crazy, and I know a lot of people think it's nuts. I prefer three hours. I don't think that's Listen, crazy at all. Yeah. I prefer three and a half. Sometimes I prefer waking up in the morning and being like, I have a gig tonight. Oh, uh, that's my one thing I'm gonna do today. There's nothing wrong with that. No, there's nothing wrong. And with I that. will just stay in bed, or I'll like work on stuff at home. Maybe I'll like add some zhuzh to the costume last minute. Sure, but for the most part, if I have like a gig i feel like that's gonna be my day yeah well it makes sense it's, it's exhausting it's also the only thing you can really think about yeah, yeah. that day even with like video drums so yeah like okay that's it's what i'm a... doing today do i have all my stuff together do i have and Everything. when i would get there i didn't want to chat with anyone yeah right. yeah yeah i remember yeah i remember like producing a show it's like absolutely it's like this is the priority everything is secondary and it's like it's the, but that's like a regular work situation, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, I guess it is. I just think know. about it in the sense that, like, a lot of the other people that I have worked with and stuff, I think I put a lot of effort into my numbers and, like, I do costume changes and, like, I can't just do a single song. I always okay. have like so now you're bragging. Word. <laughs> yeah, well, no, stop. I'm just trying to say, like, I get nervous because I put so much into it. Then if yeah. I feel like if I mess up on stage, I'm like disappointing myself. Oh, you're one of those people. Okay. Yeah, I'm gotcha, like, gotcha. you have integrity and dignity, <laughs> self respect. So yeah. it's just like a lot. And so the... I didn't know this beforehand. We would have not yeah. had her. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> but I still have no respect for my body. Oh, so no, okay, that, no, that doesn't count. We, oh. we take back. We take back everything Ooh. we said. <laughs> no, but I just spend a lot of time on it, and I just feel like I I need that day yeah. to be like I got to make sure that I'm gonna have all the energy to do. Yeah, this. yes, because totally. you're also you're expending energy thinking about yeah. what's going yeah. on, even if it's in your subconscious the whole day yeah uh, i love that because it's like okay i'm i'm a performer that i take pride in my work and i want to make sure i do the best job there you go it's kind of like uh, uh train conductors 
Oh, that's true. Yeah. They, yeah. they feel the same way. Yeah, they got to focus, and also they get very tired. <laughs> and it's dangerous. They got to get so the right dangerous. amount of sleep. Yeah, yeah. you got to get. They're the right forced to stay up late. Are you prone to insomnia, anxiety, fevers, or depression? Uh, prone to depression. Okay. Anxiety. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Insomnia because of the two. Yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah. Uh, I think that's like the full gamut. A restless leg, gout. I Crohn's. do. I I kick, and I think I might have Crohn's because my butthole is a mess right now. Oh, Mama, that's that, not why you what have Crohn's. Are you, oh, <laughs> have that you, anything to do with the pumpkin seeds? Though. Yeah, let me uh, rule that out first. What's any time I have spicy food or tequila? Do you get fisted? No. Okay. And I've never fisted anyone. Have you? No. That is my big question. I normally ask on my on my first question. Series. Yeah. Yeah. I think fisted I asked you. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. I haven't been fisted. I can't even get like three fingers up there. Really? Um, no. When was the last time you had sex? Uh, 25 days ago. No, I had sex maybe like, s- actually maybe like a month ago. Okay. Something like that. Uh-huh. That's um, was that the grinder? Yeah. I had, I had like a regular booty call and uh-huh. then I had like two sort of like newish ones. So, uh-huh. you know, but I, I'm not into sex right now. Okay. So stop asking me these personal questions. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but fisting, I don't. It's so medical to me. Yeah, I feel like the only way I would do it is if someone was already primed, prepped, and ready to go, and I just like stuck my hand in, went, "Ooh, that feels a weird, okay, cool, yeah. whatever." It feels like take yeah. it out. It's sure. I just need to know. It's like a um, like if it was a a, a veteran or a medical um booth at a, a fair. Oh sure, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. I mean? like yeah. they got all the stuff. Anything goes wrong, you got uh, coverage. You yeah. Just, Boop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I, would, I would do that too. Oh, I'm in the 315 for the uh <laughs> for fisting the booth. Fist? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> do you have to use gloves? No. No. Well, it depends on what fair you go to, yeah. My sister fisted a lot of cows. Well, uh, a lot of cows. Ugh. Yeah. For her work or just I think Is for she, pleasure. Oh, pleasure. Sure, I would hope so, no. yeah. Yeah, she's a vet like she, uh, just oh. sticking her fucking arms right up to her fucking shoulder. <laughs> Crazy <laughs> disgusting. Um, but I when the when I see like bright red from the rectum, mm-hmm. that to me says doctor danger. D- doctor ER. Sure. Call Seek code help. red. Yeah. Remember that clip we saw of the Lady licking the prolapse. Oh, oh. <laughs> don't go anywhere near it. She she put her tongue on that cherry cobbler. Oh. Happily, giddily. It actually. was like it was, and I, I know, I can't. I'm sorry. That, Prolapses are the worst. That delicate mucosa oh. is just not meant for the human tongue. Hmm. No, not meant for the light of day. That's yeah. It should I, stay yeah. in. I think that's, yeah. Yeah. Stay, yeah. Stay in the dark. Stay in the dark. Not meant for four K. No, 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 nothing, no, 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 nothing no, no, no. is not even n- nothing is. Ugh. How wild uh, do you like to fancy yourself sexually? Pretty boring. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Vanilla yeah, yeah. with sprinkles. Yeah. I think I used to be more fun when I was like a uh, drunk when I was oh, like sure. out partying yeah. and doing stuff like there. It's gone now. But there was like a video of me on Tumblr, like sucking a bunch of dicks. And I was like, I'm so glad that that's mm. gone. Yeah. <laughs> I used to do a bunch of crazy stuff. Now it's just kind of like, eh. What's yeah. the point? What was the craziest? Sorry, was, as I, I know it's a very boring line of questions. What was the craziest thing you've ever it. done? If you don't mind, uh, I'll tell you mine. Why don't you go first so I understand what kind of crazy we're talking? Okay, um, I very killed sensible. a guy. No. Yeah, um, I think <laughs> during the, sex, the the, the crazy, the crazy. Actually, you know what? I'm. I'm I don't like even vanilla. know what crazy is anymore. I don't either. Because it's like so I'm relative. so boring. Shit question. So yeah. let's say fisting is at the top of the heap. Uh, no, now, and then and then smooching. Is at the other side of the spectrum. Necking. I've had sex. Have you How had sex in wild? public? Uh, sex yes, in public? I have had okay. sex in public. Yeah, I that guess that's like kind of crazy. That seems like fun. It just seems like it's so natural now. I feel like the gays are just having sex everywhere now that they have just for fans. They're like, well, they're trying to be. Yeah, they're trying like, to be. Where else can I have weird sex? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they start acting in them. Well, no, seriously, because I'm like, I was on um one of the apps the other day, and I I uh, recognized a few porn um people. And they said, like, the profile said, I don't want to chat. I want to fuck you. And I want it on camera with your face. Oh, wow. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, to the point. Yeah, it's just like the, everybody's like Martin Scorsese now. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? That's that's what he would say. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) They're Martin Scorsese, but with like two iPhones. Fuck you raw with with your face. Exactly. Are you seeing Wolf of Wall Street? Okay, this is what I want. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing it 4K. <laughs> skin texture is too 30, yeah. 35 millimeter. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> but no, but everybody's like a, um, their, their own kind of porn production company, which yeah. is really interesting. I think that's great for them. I think, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Especially if they can make a lot. I mean, I imagine at, with, with the OnlyFans just for fan, it's like 10 
you can Ten, set your rate you set however your rate. high you want. So some people okay. is like twenty dollars a month. Yeah. And the one that I follow is nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. I follow one. Can I say that I followed five of them? Really? Wow. And Currently? Then, and then immediately unfollowed them all. Oh, but so you got the all the stuff. I got the month worth. Yeah. Um <laughs> Yeah, once you've seen it, what are you well, gonna because, do? You can't beat off to it again. Because th- it's smart when you like you on the page you don't see any previews you don't see any material really you oh. see the number of stuff like if they have sure. like six million videos you see that they yeah. have that but yeah and then um you don't get to preview any of it and you just you know but ten dollars if you think about like how lovely an orgasm is mm. it's worth it yeah yeah you say maybe, maybe you 20 a orgasms month. a month yeah that's worth uh, ten dollars. Absolutely. Yeah, and um, yeah, you skip a few days. Okay. Yeah. You gotta um, sure, let yeah. the scabs yeah. rest. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, but you let you know the person will um <laughs> that person is like uh you're you're uh, patronizing the arts. Mm, yes. Exactly. We know all about that because of, like of our Patreon. Patreon. Page. Exactly. Oh right. Yeah. Is that patreon.com slash Katya and Craig. You know it is patreon.com slash Katya and Craig. Yeah. So many delights behind that. Pay well the gods. Have you been the recipient of in, um intellectual property? No. Not that uh, um, the the <laughs> the fruits of uh, uh, intellectual you... <laughs> property theft. <laughs> I was did trying someone to say something else. steal something from you? Because <laughs> <laughs> someone did steal one of my numbers. Really? Which one? Uh, my McDonald's one. My like the one that everyone want like would force me to perform when I was traveling. Yes, uh, was it a signature number? Yes, that you signature created. number that I made. Nobody made else. the mix. No one else was involved Rude. in it. I did everything. I started. Yeah. I was the one who got the hamburgers and threw them at the audiences and picked the mix, and someone else did the exact same one. And it wasn't like it wasn't like, it was like oh somebody else could have done it. Like it was Celine Dion. I drove all night in a car. Yeah, no, right. it wasn't no, like that. It wasn't so that. This that. This was yeah. like the specific spoken word from one comedian that I mixed with a Kesha song, yeah. and then did the throwing of the hamburgers and had a costume Ripped and wig it. made for it. And someone, I guess, I emailed it to the DJ, and then that DJ gave it to someone who gave it to someone. So rude. And that person performed it, and I immediately sent them a thing, being like, "Hey, like." That's my number. Like, I'm not trying to start a fight, but like, I'm just saying, like, it would have been nice for you to ask or do something yeah. in any way. And you're then like, they... you're wearing my blouse. Yeah. yeah. Like, can I have my shirt back? Yeah. yeah. It's like, like you're wearing my shirt. My thing. And that's like, and I don't think that for me, I don't care if someone takes something, but that one was the one number I was traveling with and like oh, yeah, doing no. it in every city and everywhere mm. I went, they were like, oh, and please do that. And we'll make yeah. sure that we yeah. get you everything there. Yeah. So it's just kind of like, now it's like, if I go to that city and perform that number, they've all already seen it yeah that's no i don't like that and there was i had a similar thing um there was a queen back in boston who i was there in the small bar what while she performed a a mix that like again it was a very like bizarre group of songs it was she just ripped the whole thing the whole thing and it was like in front of me and i was like what the fuck but then what do you do like how do you respond because everyone was just like leave it alone i said um i said Girl, I th- I don't even actually know if I responded, because I was like, "What do you say?" I was like, "I I don't." I was like, "Why did I wanted to be like, why did you do that? Yeah, you're so weird." Yeah, it, it then puts the onus on you because like you're supposed to react in a certain way when someone's doing something so aberrant. Yeah, and then they're almost like daring you. Like, I bet you don't have the the. That's the, what the this nerve. person ended up doing. That's okay. what this person ended up doing because it was just private. But then they went and showed our conversation to everybody. So I uh, deleted everything. And I was like, that was supposed to be like a private yeah. thing. And now you're trying to make me seem like a bad guy. Uh, well, obviously, that's... they have no judge. They can't really. Um, They have issues with boundaries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But also, like, isn't drag itself? So, like, you should be creative enough to make your own fucking numbers. Yeah, exactly. No. Like, how hard is it? No, Mary. No. <laughs> Listen, you, you're uh, giving people way too much credit. Like it takes, it does take a lot of effort and most people, um, most people are not creative. So uh, it's, that it's is true. when they see something that they can steal rather than, you know, if they can just yeah. steal it, they're going to do that. Um, especially because it's like, the, I think maybe there's a misunderstanding with drag that think that like everything's fair game, fair well, use. It's like yeah. DJ stuff too. People do that bullshit where they're like, oh, they're going to just rip off your thing. Your whole set. They just press that. play. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <sighs> I so I gross. wanted to tell the person I was like I I wanted to be like, hey I don't know if you know but um when people create mixes um that are kind of like signature or, or custom custom yeah. yeah um they they become like a signature uh, feature of that performer's um identity yeah and so when you do it like word for word it's bizarre 
Yeah, it's and spooky. It's weird so why did you do that? It. Yeah, yeah, it's like why? Yeah. What part of the? And then like to even well, and then someone else to try. But I used to do the Julia Sugar Baker, uh, the night the lights went out in Georgia thing. But that is fair game. That has been totally. out there. Totally. But for someone, but I put it in a mix, and someone used the exact same mix that like went through it. And the worst part about it was watching them try to do the gestures that I like did yeah. with it with each word. Oh, they're just copying. And they were just up. fully copying like yeah. the hand gestures. And I was like, well, that's a dead fucking giveaway. At least yeah. try something different. Yeah. There's yeah. inspiration and there's just ridiculous yeah. mimicry. Now, yeah. the other thing is the DJ who passed the mix along should be slapped. He, well, he's probably uh, trading organs on the black market. Oh, yeah. You know probably. I mean? Yeah. So no, like, you're right. Yeah. So maybe don't get too I mixed think the, up the with drag that. music get to tip of the iceberg with yeah. that dj we don't want to get to the no of yeah yeah it sounds like he's up to a lot no, of nefarious no, business no. speaking of nefarious business where can people find you people can find me on my instagram which is at spiciest meatball you can find me um youtube with my web series welcome to meatland where i travel around the country and visit gay things or you can listen to my podcast on the reverie network called unbearable with big dipper and meatball Oh, Big Dipper. I love Big Dipper. Let me ask you a few questions. Hold on really quick. He oh, yeah, back. no, that wasn't the end. I just wanted oh, okay, to say. Okay, yeah, okay, no, okay. No, no, I just wanted to make oh, sure I we got like, to. I thought that was it. No, no. no. Um, uh, are you um, a carnivore? You like meat? I well yes, but my boyfriend right now is uh, vegan. So I oh, when God. I'm around him, I only eat vegan just so that we can share stuff. Sure. But like I said on the way here, I did scarf a Wendy's right. hamburger because I needed that meat. <laughs> hey. You get into veggie grill? I do get into ve- veggie grill yeah. very hard. Do they have one downtown? I don't think so. No, but there is uh, like a bunch of vegetarian options. Yeah, good eating downtown. Yeah, there's really good food. There's a full vegan bar with like really? vegan bar food. Wow, that is so good. You know what though, I was that. <laughs> you know what I have to say about vegan food. I was like, I got buffalo wings at at Veggie Grill. You know, they're not like, they're, they're like buffalo tenders. They, yeah. it's it's the it's an approximation. It's sure. good enough. The buffalo yeah. sauce it's is the great. Right style, a, a but I was like, shape. what is yeah. this? Uh-huh. Like, what can I think about? So in terms of nutrition, chicken. yeah. Like, yeah. I, okay, like sure. I know chicken yeah. is gonna is like protein. Yeah, like whatever. Is it tofu? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. And it's like, I have a hard, I'm like, is this going to be Well, that's cardboard? the thing is that a lot of the stuff I found when I was like looking for like fake substitute it's not healthy stuff, necessarily. it's worse. Right. There's more yeah. chemicals in it. Yeah. So it's like, what and, are we doing here? Yeah. And salt too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, a ton of salt. Ton and of it's salt. not a flour. And honey, I left my Pedialyte at home again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it, so it doesn't seem like, because I knew a, um, a girl was like long time, long time vegan and I looked at her diet like over the course of a week and I was like, oh, you eat shit. Oh yeah, like it's not necessarily. I just assume it doesn't that it mean healthy. healthy. Yeah, no. that's true. It can also mean just French fries all yeah. the time. Yep, and French yeah. fries and when you're at a bar, that's bars. the only option normally. True. Yeah. yeah. Although, uh, thankfully in LA, there's so many great places like Crossroads mm. down the street. I just went there the other morning. They have an amazing lox bagel. Yeah. Oh so wow. Good. Okay. Yeah. I haven't had that. Fish on a bagel. Yeah, I like that. Do you not like lo- lox? I don't, but I'm not an adventurous eater. Oh, mm. not what at are all. You, what is your favorite go-to I like, meal? Uh, things that are dry, mm-hmm. um, crunchy. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, don't go too crazy. No, I actually yeah. only have two meals right now. It's terrible. <laughs> what? I, I, I do Indian or Chinese. Uh huh. Um, because I don't cook. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I love Indian. I love Chinese. I love Thai. But I don't like um. Fan- I don't like a lot of stuff like condiments. I don't like um cheese or cream cheese or mayonnaise or um <laughs> mustard or relish or onions ketchup? or ketchup or the ketchup is fine but like uh, no olives no mushrooms no, like just you just a like list plain, goes on like just like yeah a, three ingredients are you the type that can't eat if your plates mix like everything has to stay separate no. or you don't care i'm i'm getting better about it okay. because the with mexican food you have to be a little everything's got to mix yeah, yeah you can't yeah, just yeah, eat yeah. straight beans no <laughs> Out of a can. You've tried though. I have. Well, I have. I mean, you I have to. I'm yeah. proud of myself yeah. for eating like burritos, but no cheese mm. and okay. no guacamole. Oh, you don't wow. like guacamole? Yeah, no. I can't wrap my head God, around that one. Disgusting to me. Oof. Ugh, Isn't that like, funny how it's morning. like it? It tastes good to you, and to me, it tastes like um, molten garbage. <laughs> yeah. Do you like uh, cilantro? Yeah. Okay. Because that's the big one. That's like the big divisive. That's right. People are called tasters when Cilantro? they. Yeah. Some yeah. people Isn't they taste herb? it and it's just they. It's so appalling to them. Oh, some really? people taste like yeah. straight up dish soap. And that's some right. People enjoy the flavor oh, of it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't understand the. I don't understand mushrooms. I don't get it. Which ones? Like any mushroom. Oh. <laughs> shit. Shit. Shiitake. <laughs> yeah. Like sh- shiitake, portobello, whatever. Like they're they're um squishy. Uh, flavorless buttons. Yes. 
<laughs> yes, that's exactly what they are. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I had a mushroom medley the other day, though, and I think I think the shiitake. Wait, the shiitake is the big. One. No, that's the portobello. The shiitake yeah, is right. the really chewy one. Oh, okay. I don't like that one. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. But I'll do most mushrooms. What is your diet looking like on a day to day? Because you look good. Um, me, and your skin I would, is shining. I would do. Um, I do uh, a bagel in the morning. Uh huh. It's sometimes like cereal, like Ooh. a child. <laughs> like a child. <laughs> Ooh, what's your favorite cereal? You know what? My diet is heavy in sugar. Ooh, oh yeah, heavy, no one eats more sugar than this heavy, person. Yeah. Heavy, oh, actually, I think I kind of knew that because I went to your house everything. that one time and there was candy jars. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. And There's, I was like, an adult with a candy jar has a sweet tooth. Like no <laughs> oh, one I've yeah, ever yeah, had. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a totally. demon of a sweet tooth. Yeah, hello. If I Try ate... not to smoke crack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have a sugary snack. Yeah. They actually say that, too. They're like, well, if... that's like when I went off drinking. Yeah, that, that's what they I say. All I wanted was sugar. Have yeah, a milkshake. Right. And I was, I Have a milkshake. hate sweets. And I was yeah. downing, like, Snickers bars. Yeah. They say that in the, there's a, there's an old timey little thing, like, how to survive without drinking. It's like, yeah. have a milkshake. I was eating yeah. full on chocolate cakes in bed. Yeah. Yeah. There was like four or five good large bowls of fruity pebbles in each box. I just do a box at a time and uh. sitting. Yeah. So I mean, in- I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. I've been there. I used to eat like a half a lasagna in bed when like the depression hit hard. Oh yeah, sure. Now, do you uh, do you save the other half under the covers with you? How did you do you- <laughs> I'm not joking. I would fall asleep next to it and then wake up and just be like, "All right, well, I'm back to work." Hey, look who's here, my yeah, little buddy. It's like it's yeah. here, and I don't have to leave to eat. Sounds, so yeah. it's good. It, it sounds efficient tip. and convenient. Exactly. Have you yeah. ever been that low? I've been, I've been, I've been way lower than okay. that. Just not in terms of food. All right, um, all right. All right. But yeah, yeah. I yeah. think a lot of my issues come from food. Okay. Yeah. No, or or do yeah. you deal with issues with food, like I mean, eating your feelings or whatever? Uh, I think I eat my feelings really hardcore. Yeah. Yeah. I've definitely done that many times in my life. Yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel, I feel like I'm always into the mic. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> like, you just got so comfortable. I I, uh, it's the throw um, pillows. I yeah. I wish. Um, I kind of like want that relationship with food, uh-huh. the unhealthy one. Yeah. You know? Well, I'd say you have an unhealthy relationship with food, but you know, hey, it's a neglectful. Uh, it's like neglectful. Like, yeah, 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 that's all. Oh, do you wor- work and like you can work all day without eating? I just don't like eating. Oh, really? Not really. You lucky bitch. Yeah. I know. I don't get I that. Just don't I don't like it that much. I love eating. My roommate is the same way where he eats for like fuel. He'll just eat whatever. He'll throw a full salad like on the stove to warm it up and he's just eating hot salad. Oh. <sighs> But Oof. he's like, I don't really care about food. I don't understand why you're like such a big foodie. Well, I mean, uh, come on, that's ridiculous. Like yeah. the thing, the thing that makes me so ashamed about it is like, I could spend so much time like learning how to cook and like in creating delicious meals. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Well, but also, I mean, who cares? You can order whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, I know, but it's also know? like and... fun to know how to cook because then oh, it's okay. like a, it's like a yeah. it's the things things a human being has to do. Eat R- is like number one. Yeah, yeah that's so true. It's yeah, like we well, should get one of those meal delivery systems. You should get them to sponsor, and then you'll get it for free. That's a really good idea. How about this? And then they teach you how to cook. Bitch, I ain't even working right now. Oh. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, I got the time. I have the time. (laughs) What I don't have the time for is making excuses for having, you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. I say just rule out the whole notion that you're going to cook, because you're just creating a thing where you feel bad about it. I'm never going to cook. Oh, good. (laughs) No. I thought you were getting hung up on that. Very aware of it. No, Good, good. Okay. Not in my kitchen. No. (laughs) No, I don't have an island. No, without an island, you can't cook. What are you going to do not, without an island? Without an island, you can't cook because guess what? You can't think. You can't um, You can't have a, a, a crisis. You can't confer with other people in the kitchen. You can't do drama or theatrics. You can't smash a wine glass down on the Absolutely. island. You, yeah, you, you do can't, that on the cookware. You can't uh, pace around in a no. circle. Right, exactly. You can't leave a cigarette burning in the middle. Absolutely yeah. not. And where are the pans going to ha- hang no. from? Oh, yeah. yeah where gonna are you going to fight through? Yeah, yeah. right now. Exactly, mm-hmm. yeah. I imagine myself as Reese Witherspoon in Big Little Lies in the kitchen, delivering like a ten-page monologue, while my um, casseroles in the oven or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, do you cook? Uh, a little bit, yeah, here and there. What? I used to cook a lot more. Like yeah. I used to be into like having friends over. Normally on Thanksgiving, I would always be the one to like make the turkey and the uh-huh. mashed potatoes. Like, yeah, yeah. I like big cooking projects. I was gonna sure. say like when you because when I think would. Like, do you cook? I envision like, can you prepare a meal that takes like prep the day before? Yeah. yeah oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. that's like, like how I like to do it. Yeah. Like, I want it to be like, oh, I had to do this yesterday just Planning, to get this sourcing, today. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like spending a hundred twenty dollars just to make a fucking cheesecake, and you're like, yeah. I should have bought a cheesecake. No, <laughs> no, no. But like, no, yeah, but yeah, that, yes. at the end of the yeah, day, where yes. you're right. like, why? Yeah. Like when you're I mean, like, how much cream pennies. cheese? Yeah, well, I yeah. was that. If you're pinching pennies, but it's also the process of um, it's like a lovely uh 
thing that you make and you consume yeah. and then you, you know it's fine. but it also is like a great way to distract myself because like if i need to clean why not start cooking something and then start making a costume before yeah. i actually get to clean it exactly which is yeah. also a fun game i like to play with sure myself. and then put yourself further back oh yeah and yeah. then there's like a ton of unfinished projects just like i have a bunch of like half finished dresses that i was like i don't like that one that much oh i hate that and they're just in the closet looking just, at you yeah just yeah being like you spent this much money on this fabric you're yeah. gonna fucking finish me <laughs> yeah when you're gonna finish me yeah. huh? i see a loose hem yeah. <laughs> oh, i hate there's a hem i hate that i was like get so crazy about that stuff or like when i would um hastily make a costume for um a performance and then it was not finished and i'd be on stage but like and i know it's not finished and it doesn't really matter because nobody can tell. But yeah. then I And then I keep wearing it unfinished and never sew it up. And it's like drives me nuts. Oh, and then I just throw it away. Because <laughs> yeah. then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make a better one. Yeah. And then it comes yeah. time and you're like, fuck, I wish yeah. I didn't throw that piece of shit away. Did you learn how to sew by yourself? Uh, Yeah, pretty much. I like, well, I did costumes for theater when I was in junior okay. high. Because yeah. yeah. I knew I was gay. <laughs> and they taught me the basics. So okay. then from there, I just started doing it. And then when I was in high school, I worked at the Houston Ballet and I made costumes or like wow. I did alterations. Oh, cool. They didn't trust me to like make anything, but that's well, where I got like the basic like, this is how you take something in. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's great. Did you teach yourself? I, no. Yeah. I've, I've just learned here and there from, from like other drag queens and other uh, my friends who sew. Yeah. And I have a very rudimentary, I only do knits. Like I can't do anything like um, yeah. that doesn't stretch. Oh yeah. Um, but like, I, I like it. I like doing it. It's fun. Yeah. There's certainly, it is so gratifying and fulfilling to like um, work on something and then li- just go out and wear it. Yeah. A whole bunch, you know, and especially because like, it, I like buying stuff off the rack, uh, but I don't like being seen in the same things that other people. That's how I am. Someone posted something the other day and it made me laugh because they were like, "Uh, I want to do a new look every week. And I was like, well, that was like good fucking luck. And then I started counting on my hand and I was like, I think I did something like very similar because I always make a new look every time I go to a different city. Oh, okay. So anytime I'm traveling. So it's always, it's just the walk around look, but it's like so that in every picture I'm wearing something different. Sure. And I just do the same fucking numbers every time. Right. Yeah. I I remember that too. It was like, I I remember coming home from like uh, the first year and I was like, okay, time to whip up eight long sleeve mini dresses so (laughs) I don't, like I can tell which me degree was where and when. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So crazy. But then like, I don't know, when we did the UK tour for Dragula, I ended up just some of them were changing for each meet and greet, but I was like, I can't fucking pack this many costumes. No I was shit. like, I'm wearing the same costume in every meet and greet, and yeah. like, I'll just go based on what the backdrop is to figure out where I was. It's like, it, it, yeah, it, 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 you can create a whole world of pain for yourself. Some of the girls like bring five suitcases. I'm like, I can't bring. They told us they were like try to stick to one because we're <laughs> we're on a small bus. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, it was I was one suit, one large suitcase, one large carry on, and I had a backpack and two boxes. That's pretty good. Yeah, drag traveling. Oh, sucks. it's the worst, and I don't know how you so do it because like I was talking to a couple of people from who have been on drag race, and when they travel, they're gone for a month and a half, two months. Sometimes they don't even go home. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Like in between tours, and I was like, how do you live? Well, yeah. that that I don't like. I mean, it's. I think it's actually better. Like once you're gone for two weeks, you're gone. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh-huh. like the difference between two weeks and six weeks is like, well, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know, but like if you're gone for like three days to come back and then four days to come back, like it's those that weird chunky kind of like always coming back and forth and back and forth. Things, yeah. It's the really exhausting. Yeah. Kind and of I hate airports and flying, mm-hmm. which just oh, made well, this whole thing well, very difficult for me. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> by hour three on any airplane, I'm ready to get up and get off. Oh, okay. I, but I, yeah, I, I am not. Are you productive? On nope. Air- no. I cannot get anything done. Can you sleep? Nope. I can't sleep. Really? Either. So it's five hours hours of me a lot of times it's five hours of me just being fully awake staring and like trying to watch tv or play video games on my phone do you ever check how much longer is left in the, the whole flight? time oh, and yeah, it's usually yeah. a five minute <laughs> interval and, it's minutes, like, yeah. Yeah. and you're just like god i wish this thing would land yeah i never check the time yeah i try not to really no. i try you not just, to check the time yeah because you're just you're in for disappointment well what's your air like airplane ritual what do you routines do? yeah uh well if i'm fortunate enough to be in a fancy gig um, like with the sleep, the sleepy sleeps. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in business, international business. Really, that's oh. only the one you can sleep in. But, um, I like that. I'll just I'll eat right away and then go right to bed. Uh, okay, yeah. And you just lay flat. Like being able to lay flat, I can. That I would can change. Sleep. The, I would think yeah. I'd be more comfortable oh, with that. Yeah, because it's still not comfortable. Yeah, no, right. I mean, but at least you're laying down. You're laying flat. Yeah. You're not. I'm, what I end up doing is I fall asleep and then I'm hunched forward with my head. 
hanging. I just yeah. discovered that position. <laughs> it's a whole new, whole new world. Just right? l- sitting there with your eyes open, Pray. maybe drool a bit of drool. Oh, oh I, I'm yeah. fully drooling. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I do the I do the one where I wake up, where my neck is like my head tilted back, where my mouth is wide open, sure. facing the the ceiling, and then I'm just like. <gasps> Yeah. And it's so it's yeah. so embarrassing. I try it's to get a window worst. seat because I know that I when I fall asleep I'm going to lean heavily probably uh, to the right hand yeah. side. Yeah. Also the aisle seat you can't really you're going to be disrupted constantly. You're going to keep getting hit. Well, yeah. me yeah. I'm bigger so I always just get hit by the trays and oh, people walking yeah. by. Yeah. Are you that big? You're not that you're not I, a great big fat person. I'm I mean, pretty how, big. Yeah, how tall are you? I'm 5'10". Okay. People who are like anything over 6 feet on an airplane. Oh. It's, it's a nightmare. For yeah, me. it's really like it's you will bash really your tough. head at least once. Yeah, it's really. I have a friend that's that tall, and he just has to get business class or first class tickets. He yeah. just can't, and he's like, "I'm so broke because I travel." <laughs> yeah. That's so nice to have the venues and stuff like pay for it. Oh for yeah, like, that's been the know. huge. That's the one thing that I fucking love is that's like cool. when they're like, "Oh, we'll bring you to come do a yeah. show." That they have enough interest in me as that's like cool. someone who did nothing. Oh please! <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> oh please! You made all those meatballs. I did. I made all those in one sitting. That's Spiciest. right. You prepared the day beforehand when you should have been cleaning. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Have you ever had um? Have you had any travel nightmares? Uh, they lost my luggage one time before uh. a gig, which. But I feel like that's a story that every queen has. It hadn't happened to me for like a long time, yeah. and then it did. Mm-hmm. Like it happened in um in Germany, and it and I needed the like I needed the luggage. Yeah. Yeah. And I spent the whole day at the airport waiting for the luggage to like it was just a whole fucking oh God. And I had to like borrow everything from the local girls and go to thrift stores. And with me it's like whatever. I'll wear you know, probably people can't tell the difference. I wear the same <laughs> yeah. shitty thing. But like I know the difference. You know I know what couture is. Yeah. yeah, like I know it's like yeah, I, you, I, I don't have my pads. Yeah. Like I don't have any of that stuff. And I'm like it just sucks. Like it's it, your costumes. It's your body. Why would you yeah. want to put someone else's stuff yeah. on? And what do like, you think? What, what's your take on this? Because I was like, I wish I would have had to like really like I know queens who have canceled shows because yeah. of that. Like I think Kim Chi. Well, that makes sense because her. I mean, you I cannot mean, she's a look. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, has, yeah. But the package Where's is the look, the look yeah. and the yeah. costume. Yeah, she's not going to go out and be relatable for thirty minutes. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. um, um, I travel with my makeup in my backpack. Okay. So I was at least able to put on a face, and then of course I had to borrow a wig. But I had uh, a like a loose fitting dress in my carry on. Oh, that's okay. good. Yeah. So yeah. I was just kind of like there. no pads, no corset, no tits. But I was in a dress, and I had makeup on. Yeah, yeah. and you were makeup. So at, yeah, at it was the very my least, makeup. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't yeah. doing like the drugstore challenge, which I don't even think I could do with no. my makeup. See, that's the thing. And I, they don't sell my color I in stores. Wouldn't to do it. Yeah, like uh-huh. that was the thing. Like I wouldn't do it. I would, I would rather show find up a somebody final with package. Paint. Or like at least like my face yeah. wear a mask. in there. I'd wear. I'd get oh, you go, Nina Benina. Absolutely. I, I would just. I'm not going to sh- like, like a Michael Myers mask or something. Yeah, or just get like one of those lady masks. Oh sure, yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah, you know, like just make one p- paper mache on my face. Like yeah, yeah. I would just. I would go. Yeah, yeah. But the promoter like was like made it very clear that it was like canceling or was absolutely not an option did you have to do it oh yeah absolutely it, w- it was never suggested at all that there was anything other than doing it oh yeah no postponement as soon as the luggage was lost it was like okay well let's get to get to work finding stuff for you and i was like oh great okay Ooh, i don't like that it mm. was in the, the show oh god talk about sweating you would have actually died oh god oh no what was the scenario no ac no air con <sighs> it was um the one of the hottest venues I've ever performed. It was like this is Germany, Germany. Yeah, it was oh like a, a venue in Germany. It was, I've heard that about so many venues in the, the UK, clubs, but none yeah. of them have air conditioning anyway. <sighs> but uh, Dipper said he was performing in France or something at this huge venue, and there was no AC in it. Like I a don't get large two thousand oh, person old theater. building. Well, yeah, at least have, I'm just saying, like at least the fans. Do you know what I mean? Like at least maybe get some of those something, fans. Some air moving in there. Yeah, yeah exactly. Do they not have shows in August? Yeah, <laughs> do you know what I mean. Like what <laughs> yeah. the fuck? Because they must have bands and stuff playing too, and they suffer as well. You know what I mean? Like yeah, it, that's, yeah. but I guess it's less of a bother if someone in a band who's playing music is sweating than like a drag right. They're queen. supposed to. Yeah, we're supposed mm-hmm. to be like Naomi. Fucking yeah, Campbell. we're supposed to be right, yeah, right. pristine little things, and if they see a drop of sweat, I'm just thinking about drummers falling dead on the stage. Right. You know, yeah. oh him, yeah. Oh, Bob, um, 
uh, Mackie. Who who who, <laughs> who, 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 who No, no, I'm just oh, saying. Well, because oh, one time I, I filled him with this band on drums this years ago, and it was on this misguided tour of Toilet Bowls of the South in the oh, heat wave. Oh, God. And oh, the band was like, okay, we all have to wear black leather jackets. I was like, that's nice for you. Yeah. Uh, no, thank you. Yeah. yeah. By the third number, I'd completely sweat through whatever top I had. I, they were like, we want this kind of t shirt. I'm like, listen, you're lucky I'm just here doing yeah. this. Like, then yeah. I haven't flown home. Yeah. The front compartment of my bag was where the shirts would go. Yeah. Because they just would be vile so, after a while. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I'm wearing a tank top and I get a bucket of Pedialyte. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, oh, man. It's disgusting. And how about that? Oh, yeah. Traveling with um, wet, soiled garments mm. is a Oh, thrill. that was a new a thrill. thing for me because yeah. I was buying so much perfume to, like, yes. I don't want to be the fat one that is sweaty and smells. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'd rather, it's got to be one or the other. Sure, and yeah. so yeah. I was already sweaty. So I just, yeah. When I came back, all of my drag, I washed it, and it still smelled like the perfume. Oh, my yeah. God. I was spraying yeah. that much on myself yeah. to try to cover up that fucking stench. Yeah. yeah. It's like, so nasty. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like... Well, it's like yeah. all the body stink mixed with sitting in luggage. Yeah. And I say like hot like room. Yeah, and uh, wet. yeah, it's yeah. mildewy yeah. and Acrid. Funky. I feel like there's like a sharp... Um, <laughs> pungent. P- pungent, putrid... Yeah disgusting yeah in the i love this this is fun when you haven't had enough sleep and um you're scrambling to um get ready for the next show and you put on yesterday's tights that are still wet mm. still wet but they're cold <laughs> that's they're true. not as hot as the room that's you're in and that is a win on my part yeah that's true oh, it Lord. is still so gross i for the feet and I wear like, <laughs> oh yeah, and they get black on the bottom. Black and uh, stiff. Uh, <laughs> Have you ever lost a wig on stage? I did for the first time. We like lost it completely, like didn't know where it went and, and didn't get it back. No, but has that happened? Uh, I, no, 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 no. Oh no, because of course I have. I thought you might. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. No, the- I it only once, just once, and it was in when I was in True Beverly Hills, and I was doing this dance thing. And oh, I you was lost so it in a theater com- show. Yeah. Oh wow. It fell off, and it was Damn. the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened. to was me. Was the the matinee, right? Yeah. Okay, but Brian, you were at that show. Yeah, I was at that show. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you were there with Mario. I do not remember that happening. <laughs> it was during the cookie time. It was during. Rolling on a river. Oh yes, I do remember that. Yeah, oh, yeah, you remember know, that. Yeah, you you're know. great, by the way. Oh, yeah, you're fantastic. So that was yeah, yeah. a fabulous show. That was show. the first time I've done anything like that in like years. So really? It was like really? Yeah. First Peaches show? That was no. my first Peaches show. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was oh, your cool. first one. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Cool. Yeah. It yeah. was wild. I mean, I love the way that she does her shows. I mean, yeah. I love San Francisco drag to begin with. Like, those are my sisters. What's the deal with San Francisco drag? San Francisco drag is just a lot more. Speaking of smelly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is like, I, it's, it is like the Brooklyn to New York type thing where they're always like, the queens are hairy. They're not talented. Da, 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 da. But it's not true. It's like they're doing, they're taking drag in a different direction. It's very artsy. Sure. It's very. A performative art stuff. There's a lot of videos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like it, it, it's they're um it's uh it's progressive. It's progressive. It's like the Williamsburg Portland kind of whatever yeah, whatever. It's sure. that type of drag. Crunchy. Oh, okay. Crunchy, but but it's cool. Cool but and it's crunchy. It's very cool and they're like such a family, more than I feel like people here in LA are. Like them, I feel like I actually see them all hanging out and traveling together. Here okay. in LA, it's like there's a million drag queens. Yeah. I don't even know half of them anymore. Yeah, it's, Hollywood. it's just crazy. But yeah, yeah, so I love like all the I don't know. I like Lady Bear. <gasps> I love Lady, Lady Bear's Bear. Uh, yeah. I'm going to San Francisco for a week. Uh, oh, in you a should few go months. to um, yeah. uh, Heclina's place, Mother. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, Adoasis. right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm looking forward I to mean, that. It's always like great themed nights and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Bo, oh, which I do a, a big night, that's monthly like a... takeover. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, cool. The last Saturday and Sunday of every month, Bo is mine. Oh, cool. They're talking about how, oh, guys, swim my oh, ass off there. Now that's a hot one. That's yeah. the one where it's like I'm just gonna be standing outside smoking a cigarette the whole day. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. So hot. Oh my but it's God. a fun one. Yeah. It's yeah. Fun. Where else? There's that powerhouse. If uh-huh. you're into getting your dick sucked behind a building. Who isn't, right? I don't like the one that I always work at. The cafe. Cafe. It's just so. <laughs> it's the weirdest stage. It's if you so... you have to walk through a bar full of people to get on a platform. A platform. Oh. Oh. Middle. With railings, a square. So oh. it's, like, a, it's a it's a catwalk. It's okay. like a runway that yeah. you're up on with like a little rectangle at the end. It's like you're doing theater in the round. But you're, it's not theater. It's like you're like doing like a 
timeshare presentation in, in the in the it's weird. It's so weird. In a square. In a square. Yeah. 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 And yeah. then it's like, I mean, for you, I'm sure it's packed. For me, I there's room to get off. So it's like <laughs> I'm doing laps around the rooms. Have you I feel ever, like we may have had a different experience, Ms. Kadia. Have you ever? Um, I was just thinking back to, uh, back to the time before Drag Race when I um, I flicked my um, foot. I was on the ground flick, being stupid after a performance, and my uh, shoe came off, and the heel went into somebody's eye. Oh my god! I didn't hear wow. about that. No, I, I don't talk about it. Very uh. much. Um, but like the have has that ever happened to you i i do in my mcdonald's number i threw out hamburgers mm-hmm. and someone got very offended that there was meat in it oh, oh that's God. a moral and objection then, yeah. um, what about bodily harm bodily harm no i hurt myself i broke my hip doing a cartwheel what and fell off the stage what? during oh, no this the worst part was that it was a comedy uh festival uh-huh. and i was in bobcat goldwaith's show oh. with caitlin gill oh like their show and i break my hip performing there and it was a lot of these people's first time seeing drag yeah so i'm out there doing a whitney houston number uh i want to dance with somebody sure literally screaming help me get like i need help please come help me trying to stand up and like hobble and they're just laughing they're They're like like, this is the "Ah, funniest ah, thing i've ever seen this is brilliant this is genius and i was like i get me out of here oh my god God. and they wheeled me out God, it was so awful. What kind of shit ass cartwheel did you do? Uh, this is just not a great one. Uh, <laughs> the stage was like a little tiny platform, and like you know, oh, yeah. Have you fallen know. off the stage before? No, I have not fallen off the stage yet. Okay. I don't think I have either. I've, I feel like I would have heard. I've done a lot of like. I always go back. I was like thinking about Trixie's falling. Actually, in San Francisco. Yeah, that yeah, was off the stage. When she ate shit completely, <laughs> oh like, God. and it was. It's so funny. She like flailed she her arms. Flail, her arm yeah. her arms was went the best up. part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Most people go down. down. Right. Protect the face. Protect your. Like she, yeah. Like gate. Like she completely just. Oh God, it's happening. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing I can do about it. Swan dies. Take me away. Like, Falls into yeah. somebody. Oh yeah. No, I've never fallen fallen off stage i've tripped my wig has come off a lot i've s- broken shoes um i did break a heel oh. what do you do does the show go on or do you go like uh, i don't know i gotta yeah. i just i broke start two the heels number that, over I, yeah it depends on what kind of like i've broken a one heel during like halfway in a performance and then you just kind of do tiptoe like oh, yeah. you know but if it's a boot if it's like a heel heel then it's just gonna come right you off. just kick them off yeah yeah, any excuse to take the shoes off, God. Jesus Christ. What, do you perform in high heel shoes a I lot? I do. You do? Yeah, six-inch pumps. They're the only comfortable oh, ones. God. Is there a certain those, manufacturer that makes... Uh, the Bordellos. Uh, oh, those are the they most can, uncomfortable pieces of shit. Really? I mean, they are a piece oh. of shit, but they're only $60 <laughs> and they can take a beating. Well, yeah, sure. And for me, they're comfortable because like, I like but to be... But you say comfortable. Like, We need to clarify because comfortable oh, no is shoe. not an adequate word to describe no, those shoes. You they're see. not. <laughs> they're measured in degrees of discomfort. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, It's like they won't kill you after an hour or yeah. like you know what I mean that kind of thing that is a shoe that I can wear all night and only be in a minor amount of pain because oh, okay. I put them on at home and as soon as I'm in them they're uncomfortable but everyone likes a different like tilt or sure. like what uh, I forgot what it's uh, the pitch of the heel okay uh-huh. so I like those because it's the right size I also love stripper heels because they're basically a flat shoe on a platform yeah, yeah. Okay. just like really high up yeah so those are great yeah but I can't wear like the the ones that are really no. steep yeah. because I'm just I think I'm just too like forward heavy where they're just all night really, I'm just yeah. like trying to catch my balance. Sure. Yeah. I don't know how like yeah, the Violet loves those shoes. She can walk in them really well. She I saw her one night on Halloween. She was like painted red. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she was in those shoes from the time she got there until yeah. about four o'clock in the morning. It was oh like my a God. six inch heel. Just standing. She couldn't sit anywhere because she yeah. was like gonna get red glitter on everything. I think she was naked. She was naked. Oh, she was. She was, she was even so too wow. she was tucked. And she just walked from the Orpheum Theater to like Fifth Street. She walked that whole block oh fully naked. On That's Halloween. even worse because you're all like sucking in all yeah. night. Yeah, yeah. I guess shit. you can't really get an Uber. Oh, you yeah. You put a tarp down. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, if you bring a towel. Right. Yeah, bring a towel. Remember, everyone, bring, bring a, a towel. T- bring a towel. Yeah. What are your favorite maker of shoes, Brian? <laughs> Birkenstocks. <laughs> yeah, the, the numbers you do in the Birkenstocks. No, yeah. I, I, um, I love the look of shoes. I love, sh- I love accessories. I love fashion. I love the shoes, but I just hate wearing. Them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. they I mean, I have these pair of like, I have a pair of Louboutins, crystal, beautiful, a pair of Versace, um, platform pumps. Oh my god, they're so gorgeous and like stylish and fantastic, and I can't even wear them across the room. 
They're yeah. that uncomfortable. I couldn't wear them across the stage. Are they too small? Or is no, it... they fit perfectly. Oh, um, but they're so um, they're so uncomfortable, and they're so uh, just prohibitive of movement. Really? Yeah. That's so annoying. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like if you think about moving naturally and gracefully, like without any shoes, like you put those things on, it's just like I don't know. It's trying to yeah. like. Um, it's just like putting bear traps on your feet. It's, well, I have don't... you tried that? <laughs> I've tried that. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's like, such a luck. I, it, it's more direct. <laughs> um, but I love I love a fashion boot, a wedge. It's Ooh, lovely. Uh-huh. I like trying to cut the corners. I like the um, not like totally giving up, but finding like new and interesting fashionable ways to be comfortable. I was going to ask, because I was like, the next step is just I'm going to flats. Like, there's no in-between. It's oh. like, I'm... Because I can't find cute shoes in my size that are comfortable to wear. Oh, okay, yeah. Because I you, have a size 13 they, foot, There aren't any. Yeah. And so it doesn't exist. It's like no. Bordello. Yeah. Or like, you're getting weird maybe Amazon shoes. <laughs> yeah, maybe Payless. Oh, did you try Payless? No, you you can get Payless. <laughs> what about Palessi? Palessi. Palessi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah the, the scourge of the, the, the uh, large-footed uh, girl... Is yeah, that no, is that you're like kind of stuck no to like options. one Just shoe. Just patent mm-hmm. leather, drag yeah. queen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did women let that happen? Sh- high, high heels? heels? Well, wasn't it men that first started wearing them originally? Was it? Yeah, I thought it was men originally wore them. It was Ben Franklin. And then like That's right. women started wearing shoes with heels. I wish I could look it up. On my podcast, we always have a laptop in front of us. Well, we have one oh, here, so high heels. It was Louis XIV gave the idea to Benjamin Franklin, and then he popularized it. That's what happened. Damn. Well, he needed to get some height up because he was doing stuff to attract lightning. So he had to get up. He had to get that extra two inches, girl. That's That's how you get it. High-heeled shoes were originally created for men. This is from Teen Vogue. In a time where stilettos and platforms are often associated with female style, uh, often, I'd say exclusively, uh, and female sexuality, that fact might come as a surprise, but it shouldn't. In fact, for decades, high heels found their place on the feet of male soldiers, aristocrats, and even royals in differing parts of the globe for every specific reason. They're talking about a one-inch mule. Yeah, they're not talking about like, a pump, they're about a, a six-inch heel. Inch mm. They're not talking heel. about something sexy. Yeah, seven-inch fucking... Uh, Have you ever pole danced? Uh, not professionally. I mean, I love... I love pole dancing. I love like watching those real, videos. The yeah. real one. The Fe- Felix Kane, I think her name is. She's like a real champion. She was in Cirque du Soleil. Um, she, oh my God. They're athletes. Yeah. They're like, it's like the best, um, the best uh, training or the... like combination of oh, sex in yeah. sport. Yeah. Right, right. It's like, because it's, it's gymnastics so... and it's like weightlifting. You're picking yeah. up Dude, your full fucking is, body. Yeah, yeah, like that strength, yeah. that strength and control, agility and flexibility is no joke. And then to keep it all so smooth. Yes. Right. Like it's right. I tried to control. Put on, put on yeah. a pair of seven inch pleasers. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Because I tried to do silks once and I was just, the teacher literally was like, hard. this may not be for you. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> <It's> so <laughs> hard. So they're, so they're like, your body may be not for this. Yeah. <laughs> they do this thing called the spatchcock where they're like, um, they're in a straddle it with their torso through their legs and it's sideways so it's it's just it, you, Can you look draw at this it, for me and I'm, yeah it's like yeah. um so imagine okay these are my legs yeah. yes those are your those legs are them. yeah she's like, got them up I'm like that. yeah so my legs are like that <laughs> yeah and i'm holding on to the oh my God. thing but the bar is there. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't see, it doesn't oh, see. Oh, and they're sideways. Oh, sideways yes, okay. And rotating. Yes, I, now I know what you're talking about. Have yeah. you seen the ones where they're out sideways and they're pretending to walk? Yes. And it's moving around? Yes. Oh, my God. That's a Cirque du Soleil shit. I love that shit. It, I know. I wish there was more like, um, I mean, maybe there is, but it, it, like more. Uh, Circus performers? No, like strippers who are like more performance oriented rather yeah. than like salesmen. Like, yeah, sa- you know, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I guess, you know. That's the game. I think there are. I think Jumbo's Clown Room is That's that. What yeah, that is. Yeah. yeah, is that it's it's not. It's more of like a, a performance. It's performance. like a drag show yeah. that yeah. they're stripping and the pole dancing. Yeah, and that. I love that. I got. I got to go there. That would you be a have good, to. It's that'd be so a good fun. tourist. Like like what do we what do we do in L.A. type of thing? Yeah. Right. That or Cheetahs. Oh, I haven't been to Cheetahs. Cheetahs is a good one too. Is it? And they just got an all trans night. Oh wow, yeah. honey, if it's at the Cheetah, it ain't dancing. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? I thought it was. No, this was Showgirls. Remember? No? No. no. Nomi works at the Cheetah. Oh. She's like, I'm a dancer. Where have you danced? Oh, at the Cheetah, it's honey. Like, no, it ain't dancing. Oh. She's a stripper. Where, what's the Cheetah has the trans girls? Yeah. Cool. A whole night? Wait, they have... Is it always trans girls? 
Uh, I don't think they're just on the full night. docket. Okay. It's just one night right now, but I think they're testing it to see. Yeah. What, if is, it was... what is the one? There's another. Um, maybe that's in San Francisco. Asia SF. No. What am I? What is Asia SF? I don't know, but it's definitely in San Francisco. It might be a. It might be a dance club. Do you go to a lot of strip clubs? I sure don't. I haven't been to a real one ever. Really? Well, yeah. I went to one in Atlanta. It was, had the best time ever. Swinging Richards Male Strip Club. Ooh. The guy um, whacked my hat off of my head with his dick. Wow, <gasps> that's talent. Yeah. That's what I want to do. I want to go to one of those. I, yeah. like, I heard that there was a place in Chicago or Boston called like the Lucky Horseshoe, which was- Not Boston. Not Boston. Yeah, Chicago, I think. Chicago. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I heard that the, it was like a dick out policy. You were able to do whatever. Yeah, not in Boston. No, no, no. no, no. Not at all. Yeah, dicks out, balls out, everything out. Um, it was so it's interesting though with the men because if they're out at Swinging Richards, they were like out, I think three at a, they were out in groups kind of, and you'd have like this giant dong on one guy. And then this other guy's a little pecker that ain't hard. And it's just like very, it's <laughs> so offended. It's very, it. no, it's just very just like peckering, hard. jarring and, uh, yeah, it's yeah. Very sad. Yeah. For sure. well, especially when they're right next to each other. You can't go. Yeah. 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 You got like Mandingo and then little peanut. Yeah. You like, got to yeah. size them up. Yeah. Right? The, the star of little teeny weenies like is not catch. really what you want to see on stage. Oh. Right. I know. I know. Teeny God bless weenie, I missed that show. Teeny weenie part three. <laughs> I mean, what's he going to do now that the show's off? That's the thing. I don't know. He's going to join the magic mic cast. <laughs> yeah. I thought. Oh, never mind. I don't care. What? Um, uh, what's your horoscope? I am a cancer. Mm-hmm. What yeah. are the defining characteristics of a cancer? I think that I'm supposed to cry all the time and Water overly sign. emotional. Yeah. Sounds like fun. Yeah. I um, lunatic. am crazy. I think cancers are supposed to be a little bit emotionally unsound. Yeah. So. Uh, drinker, wishy washy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, no, these are all just traits about me yeah. <laughs> in general. Uh, cancers are typically sacks of shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get along with Virgos or sociopaths. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, so is your uh, boyfriend a Virgo? Because that I don't would know be perfect. What he is. I didn't ask. I love that. February. Oh, February? he's Aquarius. I'm okay. Aquarius as well. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Another water sign. Yeah. Oh, okay. that's a lot of crying, Mary. Is it water? Uh, no, wait. No, no. Actually, Aquarius is an air sign. Is it? It is yeah. indeed. Yeah. The water bearer. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I was. Th- oh, who cares? Um. <laughs> <laughs> And your sign, of course, Brian, just to be a oh, yeah. complete Taurus. Taurus, 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 Taurus. Yeah, Earth, Earth, Earth. Mm. Yeah. Um, Lots of plain white rice. Plain white and rice. Pancakes. And, yeah, yeah, dirt cake. <laughs> um. <laughs> Actually, since uh, you did a lot of horror type challenges and stuff, do you have any favorite horror films? Yeah. I actually, the funniest thing about being on Dracula is that I don't like scary movies <laughs> whatsoever. Really? Not even a Not, not even, even a little bit. I don't like being uh, scared or like loud sounds. Well, that's, oh, I, okay. the loud sounds, the jump scares, I have absolutely no time yeah. for that. I think it's manipulative. I think it's um, horrible and I think it's cheap. Yes. Like in Insidious Part 12. It's, yeah, it's I'm not into that. just like... Blur, 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 blur. I think that's why I was super into... Or I liked The Ring a long time yeah. ago. Maybe that's like the last that's real fun. scary movie I saw. Mm-hmm. But it was because there was like a plot, I guess. And not like... Ah, ah, yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Cheap thrills. Just I'm not cheap into that. Thrills. They really get my blood boiled. Do you like theme parks? <laughs> Remember when I said I don't like loud noises? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the fucking soundtrack. Are you serious? That's the sound direction of my booty hole. Oh, <laughs> she's midnight. singing Siv. After midnight, baby. What, what, what Do you was like that? drag what talk? Was that noise? Oh. I just went and uh, looked in for horror cues. And, <laughs> that uh, was pretty one. good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do. I love drag lingo. Um, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought you were talking about theme parks. Um, oh, do you like theme parks? Isn't I that went... drag lingo for something? <laughs> yeah. Swinging Richards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a theme park. Do, I went to, what is it? Six Flags in oh. uh, Valencia or, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh. Fucked up every single roller coaster. It was fabulous. I love it. It was fabulous. I love roller coasters. I love it when you feel you feel that you know you're gonna die. Yep. I like that. I mm. like when you're like when they're in you're complete scared. darkness and you're like scared. You're like, if I raise my hands, I'm gonna hit something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love because this has, like I know I'm scared if like if I close if I have to close my eyes and pretend it's not happening. Yeah. I'm terrified. Oh. Is that your favorite that. moment where you're, you have yeah. the feeling of like why did I go on this? Yeah. It's like what the fuck? Like I was like, and then I become like almost sad too. Like like I wish I knew myself better. Um, yeah, it was. It's fun. It's really fun. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of theme park? What's your uh, uh, like well, Disney I just World? To, oh, no, I just went to Disney World and I did not enjoy it. It was really not fun. Yeah. Why no. was it? The uh, I think or... it was just 
it was it was a busy day. Oh, it was right can... around the holiday season. Yeah. It's probably and it was kids, just, right? It was a bunch of kids, <sighs> and we were like, oh, wait, they're out for the holidays. And it was just too crowded, and we were doing like the express passes and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. It just, you have to. You have to. Or it just felt go. like a lot of like. Even with the express passes, it felt like a lot. Yeah. And yeah. trying to leave there. I just remember getting out was a oh, nightmare. Man. Sure, yeah. So I was like, I never want to experience this again. But uh-huh. Six Flags isn't as bad. At no, all. and we had, um, my friend had this really great hookup. He, like, he was like, a, whatever. And we had an escort. Uh, so it was like a step above the express thing. Yeah. Like we had a, a park a, yeah. employee who literally took us, like, in, uh, like shoot us in and took us out, and we could do every ride That's twice. That's awesome. I went so to cool. Minneapolis, and the person that brought me out took me to the Mall of America, and we oh, went yeah. on. I want to go there. Every single ride. Yeah, me yeah. too. And yeah. in front of the, it was insane. Wow. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Chad. Chad from Flip Phone. Flip Phone. Yeah. Yeah, he's great. Great guy. I love him. Yeah, good guy. That's when we realized I was like, oh, there's duplicates of stores in here. What? It's so yeah. big that it's there's so like big. two Hot Topics, two Sephora's, because yeah. wow. there's no chance you're going to say both yeah, of them. But sure. we were there all day, so we saw everything. Yeah, yeah. You have to spend the day. Yeah. But I, if I ever get there, that's what I want to do. You, you got to make the day of it. You got to make the day yeah, of the yeah, Mall yeah. of America. You pack a nice lunch. It's right by the <laughs> airport. You can fly in, you'll see it. Get out. <laughs> what are some of your favorite movies outside of horror, since none of those are your favorite mm-hmm. movies? I really like comedy specials. Uh huh. Like you really like to like, laugh. I like to giggle. <laughs> so like I Kevin love, Hart. Yeah. Love yeah. a Kevin Hart. Kevin love Hart. A Margaret Roseanne. Cho. Sure. Roseanne, 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 Roseanne. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. No. Um. My favorite movie. This is gonna be bad, but it's Annie Hall. It's a Woody Allen movie. Um. Love who just it. said? Who just said that? Um. Uh, Drew Barrymore just said that. Really? Yeah. It, I know he's problematic, and I know it's like bad, but it's just I connect to it so much. John was, Grant also talked about it. Diane our, Keaton. Yeah. Yeah. She's. I mean, she, if I could, if I was as thin and wavy as uh, mm. I would be in a suit and a hat all the time like yeah. that. Yeah. Um. That I love. I don't know. I love TV more. Yeah. I like I don't have the attention span. So I love like watching old episodes of Strangers with Candy. Sure. Or like Maria Bamford's show. Yeah. I was so jolly when she was on here. Oh, yeah. And my boyfriend lives in her old apartment. Oh, oh really? Cool. Yeah. So it's just like so Are you gonna watch Lady Dynamite? Oh, I yeah, love Lady Dynamite. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a great yeah. show. Good times. What's your favorite movie? Well, I have a few. One of which I just rewatched uh, again, uh Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Oh yeah. Oh, that is a good one. One of my favorites of all time. Goodfellas. I love that. And Casino that as well. Goodfellas is great. It's so good. And I've seen it so many times you'd think I'd be sick of it by now. But for the first time over the summer, it was first on HBO. Every time it was on, I was just, okay, I'm that's watching this That's the one now. with Robert wow. De Niro and Chaz Palminteri? No. Uh, not Chaz Palminteri. He, that's Bronx Tale. Bronx Tale. That's also an excellent film. Yeah. And directed by Robert De Niro. And then also, this is Spinal Tap. And oh, yeah. it's so yeah. good. And probably, actually, All That Jazz, the Bob Fosse movie. I still oh. have to watch that one. Oh, you'd love it. Yeah. Maybe Movie Club. Yeah. It, it's so good. I just remembered mm. Best in the Show. I love that one. Oh, and yeah, Waiting yeah, for yeah. Guffman. Yes. Because yeah. that's you, when I first fell in love with prefer? Parker Posey. Yeah. Is there one that you prefer more than the other? Or, or one of those in the whole Christopher Guest canon that you think I didn't is like the best? A Mighty Wind the best. We just talked about that. I didn't like it the most. Same but here. it's good. I feel like if you're into music. It's the best one. But he, I'm I'm fully down with all the old, like Ian and Sylvia, I knew all that stuff. Yeah. And I f- still felt it was lacking. Yeah. I was disappointed, you know? It was like, a, it was shades lighter. In, yeah, in it wasn't as yeah. intense. It was, no, it was very subtle. Yeah. I, I didn't think half the audience knew it was comedy. Like in the theater. That oh, I was really? In. Yeah, right. they're just like, this is a weird musical. Weird. Yeah. yeah. It was just very, very uh, subtle. I think, light. I definitely think Best in Show is my f- favorite one but waiting for government is a second yeah yeah one. do you like spinal tap i i don't remember if i've seen it okay because it's kind of the first one of those that style of stuff oh. but like in 81 82 and it's not f- fully christopher guest's whole thing but he's one of the main players in it okay. and it's all improvised Ooh. in the same way and it's about a down on their luck metal band well i got a wig to do today maybe i'll put that perfect. on there you go perfect that's yeah. michael mckean in that one yeah right? michael yeah, yeah, i love yeah. him he's yeah and and harry shearer Oh yeah, yeah, and there's little cameos from Billy Crystal, Dana Carvey. Oh, yeah. wow. Billy Crystal. Now, would you fuck him? <laughs> I would have. <laughs> when? When Harry met Sally? I would have fucked him in, when I probably would have fucked him up until like maybe ten years ago. Wow. Just because I love a daddy. Okay, so I I and I don't mean any disrespect. It's just I'm I don't remember. He have you seen him show, host? So. No, no, he's <laughs> he's a good host. He's, <laughs> he's very, a great no, no, host. No, 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 no. Extremely talented. La, 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 la. Nice person, I'm sure. He has not one sh- like sliver of sexuality. Really? And, and it's it, yeah. I don't know what it is. He is bizarrely like I could not picture his genitals. 
Like if, if you said he has a penis, so like theoretically I'd agree with you, but then I'm like, eh, it's not, I can't imagine what it would <laughs> look like. He's sexless in it, to me, like Martin Short. Oh, okay, uh, okay. really? Yeah. See, I would see, I would consider Martin Short more sex. Uh, uh, you could imagine he's like a sex leprechaun. With, well, something at least he's like <laughs> sprightly <laughs> and kind of like yeah, 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 you know, yeah, 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 I'm gonna yeah. fuck it out. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> not like Billy Crystal who would just yeah. No, there's nothing down there. <laughs> there's no, but a great conversation. Sure. Yeah. And yeah, lovely. Exactly. He's gotta make up for it. Somehow. Lovely kisser. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. I don't finger you until the cows come. <laughs> but, but smooth as a Ken doll is what oh. you're smooth saying. Smooth as a Ken doll. Maybe not that smooth. Who knows? But. He's never struck me really? as a person with, yeah, like bizarrely so. That's like it me almost... with Justin Timberlake. I can't think about his genitals. Okay, what? Really though? <laughs> I mean, but he's like, he's like a stereotypical sexy dude. No, I just can't. I don't think of him that way at all. All I think about is like the boy band days. Okay. When oh, I, like, first, I was saying. Yeah, so when I was like, I was 13. Yeah, I was like, oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Just macaroni hair and a smooth crotch. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that's... Uh, yeah. Well, what? spiciest meatball... Thank you. Well, and, thank um, you. Um, uh, what is it? Um, For spicing up our uh, life. Like pomegranate. This. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, <laughs> thank you. A spi- uh, that's a spicy meatball. Meat meat uh, <laughs> thank you for yes. coming to the pod, the cast. Yeah. Thank you very that's much. That's Italian. That's oh, Italian. Oh, that's yeah. real right, genuine. Right, right, right. You might, that's why you might not recognize yeah. it. It's well, very Sicilian. authentic. It's yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Pomegranate. Not Parmesan. Parmesan. Yes. Yeah. We have a very special song to close out this episode with you. It's uh, from the soundtrack of the film Meatballs. Meatballs. From uh, Rick D's, here it is, Meatballs. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you. And a how do you do? Advanced Dolphins will report to the doctor for survival swimming and IQ testing. All senior silverfish meet on the beach for nude sunbathing. Junior salmon, trout, and herring report to the nearest delicatessen. Six-year-old tadpoles report to the swamp. And all lobsters... Get your body laid.
turn around with macho charm When the pressure's on, they run to bubbles uh -huh. Meatballs Meatballs You ain't no meatballs 